my lovely, lovely imps, are you ready for a debate review? It has been a really long time since we've had a debate review. And I refuse to review this amazing, beautiful, steaming, golden, wonderful, hilarious, life-changing, gut-busting, ass-cracking review. Until you press the like button on my streams. Liking is the only way for you to show true love to Demon Mama. So press the like button and also subscribe if you're not subscribed. Anyway, we are doing a debate review. We are going to be reviewing a very strange debate, okay? This debate is between actual Jake and President Sunday. You may or may not be familiar with either of these people. Actual Jake uh, is a, uh, a uh, streamer who talks about all kinds of political issues, but especially talks about atheism. And President Sunday is the president. So, you know, there you have it. Um, uh, <laughs> you wouldn't be the first, Panic Stasis. You wouldn't be the first to be blocked. It's all right. Don't worry about it too much. Uh, but this debate is about a issue that I actually talked about a couple of days ago on my stream. Um, there was a debate that, uh, 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 that unfolded on Twitter first in which um, a certain statement was made. The statement that was made was um, that, and this is a quote, okay? So don't get mad at me when I say this. Black people in America are only religious because they were indoctrinated by their slave owners. Um, that was, that started a, a, a big conversation. And I even did a video about this, um, this topic. And, and if you see my video on it, um, you will, you will probably understand that it's a fairly nuanced topic once you move past the extremely, extremely questionably worded tweet. Um, but this debate is about that. And I'm just going to be honest. It, it, it gets pretty weird, but I wanted to watch it together. Okay. I wanted to uh, sit down and and enjoy the debate with you. So without any further ado, now that you've all liked the stream and subscribed to Demon Mama, uh, let's watch President Sunday's debate with actual Jake. Okay, let's do it. Maybe ex oblivion. Maybe ex oblivion. Let's do it. Let's do it. Oh, and you guys have to let me know how the audio levels are because I I do not control the balance in this video, so I'll have to adjust it on my end. So let me know, okay? Let's do this. Hi, how's it going? Hello. Whoa. It's going good. Okay, so uh, so over here is actual Jake, right here that I'm circling right now. And over here is President Sunday. And over here is a Duck Nana. Which I gotta say, the Duck Nana is very adorable. Um, it's probably the most powerful thing that President Sunday has in his entire arsenal is the Duck Nana. I'm actually kind of blown away um, that it's so powerful. Yeah. Anyway, let's continue. You're a Muslim? I'm an atheist? I'm not. That was a joke. You're a joke. That was, you that was a joke. I'm. I'm no. I'm agnostic, actually. You're the agnostic. Issue. That's even worse. I know, right? Why would you tell me you're a Muslim, bro? Because it was funny. It's not really funny. It's hilarious, actually. I can't believe. Okay. I can't believe it lasted for that long. That was. That was nuts. You actually. You, le you legitimately thought I was a Muslim. You thought you were going to have a debate about the Quran tonight. Buzzing, b b buzzinga. No. I mean, when you say, I'm a Muslim, I mean, what, you want me to just be like, oh, I guess I should know about you and your opinions and stuff? Okay, so. Okay, how's the audio levels? Because I can't tell. Um, uh, I, I, to my knowledge, by the way, the Muslim thing is that President Sunday at one point says, just literally said, nah, I'm a Muslim, dude. And so apparently, um,. Apparently, actual Jake literally thought that President Sunday was a Muslim. Sunday's a little lower than Jake? Okay. I'll boost the audio a little bit just to accommodate for that. Fair. 
So you disagree with me about anti-theism on the topic of what? Like, I'm supposed to fucking have context for you? That's such a... Like, so exactly. we started so, uh, this conversation, all, all, conversation already, and so you've lied to me about I've who you lied. are and... Lied yes, to you a, and your audience, correct. everyone. I, we were just covering a whole mass manifesto. Lies, lies are my stock and trade. Um, so, so and oh my and God. on Twitter, like oh my multiple God. times. Okay, hold on, wait, wait. I have to pause really... immediately. Okay, hold on, everybody. Hold on a second. I saw the pres the the present Sunday manifesto. Okay, did anybody else here see that? Okay, if you saw the present Sunday manifesto in chat, uh, just say yes or no or whatever. Say yes. Most people have not. Um, this is gonna be okay. This is okay. I knew it. I knew most people hadn't seen it. Um, <laughs> I have to tell you about this. Okay, I know this is an immediate distraction, but it's so funny. Okay. Um, so, uh, there's this guy named Wick. If you know him, you know him. If you don't, don't worry about it. He's uh, he's a streamer. Okay. He's a streamer who sometimes does panels. His name's Wick, okay? Um, and he did, he, he made a big hype on Twitter that he was releasing the President Sunday Manifesto. And uh, look, um, there, there, were a lot of, there were a lot of things that were funny about it, but I have to tell you, okay, this is the one thing that made me, I was crying laughing, okay? Um, because I decided to check it out. Because, you know, you know, whatever. Maybe I want to cancel President Sunday. You know, me. I'm always looking to, for a way to cancel somebody. <laughs> but anyway, um, I was watching it. And Wick does not have YouTube Premium. And he also does not have an ad blocker. And so this manifesto turned out to not actually really be a manifesto. It was actually Wick reacting to one of President Sunday's videos. And every couple of minutes or so, a really, really loud ad would start playing from President Sunday's video that Wick was reacting to. And then Wick, Wick would go, oh guys, I'm so sorry, it's so loud. Oh my God, oh sorry, and it's just like, and it's just like, McDonald's, enjoy your Coke. Ba -ba -ba -bum. Dove, beauty for everyone. And he's like, I'm so sorry. Oh, oh my God, it'll be over in 30 seconds, guys. Give me a second, I'll hit the skip button in a few minutes. And I was just, oh my God, it was making me laugh so hard. I'm like, okay, here's some advice. If you're a streamer, buy YouTube Premium. It's that simple. YouTube Premium costs like $10 a month or some shit. I don't remember the exact price. It is not that expensive, okay? It is a, it is a, if you are going to be reacting to things on your screen, you, screen, you need to have YouTube Premium. Just buy it, okay? I'm telling you, just there you go. Because you do not want to look like that. It was, it was, it was like, Wick would be like, as you can see, the duplicitous present Sunday, and then it's just like, boo, 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 Intel. And I'm just like, oh my God. Uh, the, the, the disgusting liar, President Sunday, the sniveling rat crawling through the muck uh, like a good neighbor. State Farm is there. It was amazing, genuinely incredible. I was literally crying laughing at it, okay? Okay, I know enough of uh, fucking. Uh, uh, <laughs> I've 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 distracted from the debate itself, but they brought up the manifesto, and I had to mention it. Okay, it, it was. I'm not gonna talk about the subject of the manifesto at all. I don't care. You guys can go watch it if you really want to. If you want to go watch like 40 ads, um, including embedded unskippable ads because they were ads that Wick couldn't skip. Um, oh my god. <laughs> Um, yeah. All right. Okay. All right. Let's get back to the debate now. Okay. Uh, I just had to tell you guys that <laughs> you block origin is free. It's true, but come on. Okay. Literally, if you're going to be a streamer, just seriously, uh, you, streaming is a difficult career to break into and you will have an even harder time if you don't have YouTube premium. I'm sorry. I don't mean to like advertise. I'm doing an ad to you right now, but just, just trust me. Okay. Just fucking trust me. It, it just write it off as a business expense because you can literally do that because it literally is. Your job is not completable without it. Let's go, let's go. Debate time, debate time, back to the debate. 
poor faith. So was there? How so? I would I would love to understand what your position is in regards to anti theism. Anti theism? I I have no objection to anti theism. What... No, the the issue I was objecting to had to do with uh, with these statements here. So um, I'll read them out for you, and I'll, I'll give you a chance to restate if you wouldn't mind, because I think you were probably sure. heated and defensive in the moment. I want to be fair. <laughs> so you say here, quote, there are no, quote-unquote, indigenous Christians in America. They Correct. were colonized and indoctrinated. This is a well-published right. tactic by the church. And you're saying this in the present tense. There are no indigenous Christians in America. There are people who are of indigenous bloodlines who are also Christian, yeah. Okay, that's interesting. We'll interrogate right, So you have, like, a semantic issue? In a moment. And then the other one Amazing. was the other one was black Americans are in the present tense religious because they were indoctrinated into it by their slave owners historically. And it was a sociological claim. I agree. The preponderance of uh, black churches in America that's obviously to do with uh, with the history of slavery. But in light of the I don't a hundred percent agree with President Sunday here. Uh, I talked about this in my video on this subject, but a lot of uh, a lot of African American churches were founded um, specifically to separate um, from uh, 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 from like the institution of slavery. Slavery. It was black people setting up their own communities. Now. Um, of course, a lot of those people who were founding that were introduced to Christianity as a result of being, you know, their slave owners uh, giving them Bibles and stuff like that. But regardless, the churches themselves uh, uh, ended up becoming communities whereby people could fight for liberation and support one another. So I think that it's uh, way over simplistic to just say the only reason that uh, black people are Christians in America is because of um, is because of slave is because of slave indoctrination when actually um, some of them um, used Christianity as a way to to make themselves resilient post slavery. You see what I mean? Does that make sense to, as to what I'm saying? This is one of the things where I kind of uh, um, yeah uh, you know that. Do you see what I'm saying? What I'm getting at is that it's it's an oversimplification to the point of uh, inaccuracy to just say that that's the only reason. Um, and also, of course, uh, not all black people are African American. Not all black people um, were the, the descendants of slaves in America. Um, and there was Christianity in Africa that predated um, the, the transatlantic transatlantic slave trade. So, but but I just wanted to say that I disagreed with President Sunday on that particular point. Anyway, let's continue. Let's continue. I hope that made sense. At the same time, none of that would have been necessary without slavery in the first place. That's true, but then, but if you go to, there's a problem when you're talking about history, where if you try to be, um, if you over fixate on causal, like on the causal relationships, uh, it can get you in a lot of trouble, right? Um, because you can go, well, that wouldn't have happened because of slavery, and the, the transatlantic slave trade wouldn't have happened if Christianity had never been founded in Judea, and Judea never would have existed if it wasn't for Jewish people existing. Do you see? And then you get to this crazy stuff where it's just like, well, what are you talking about anymore? Um, so I just, I just think it's too simple to just to just flatly say that. But it's tangential? Yeah, I suppose. I, 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 yeah, I guess it is. But I just, I just think that's an oversimplification. Anyway, let's continue. The previous one. There are no indigenous Christians in America in the present tense. That's correct. It's an there are no indigenous Christians in America. That's right. Interesting statement, since there are very clearly indigenous people who are Christians. President Sunday. I need to buy President Sunday a new mic stand, or somebody does. Not me, obviously. I, I, I you, one of you, one of you who are a President Sunday viewer, you need to buy him a new mic stand because President Sunday does this. Hmm. He he strokes his chin and moves like this, and when he moves away from his mic, he becomes impossible to hear. One of you. He's ordering a new mic. Oh, great. That's wonderful. Anyway, let's continue. So right, but they're not indigenously Christian. What does that right. mean? What a what a semantic argument. So you, so you're, what does so it your mean for someone to is... be? What does it mean for someone to be indigenously Christian? 
Right. So is it indigenous to their land that Christianity came to them? Like, is it part of oh. their culture that Christianity became part of their culture? In their... Well, what one's yes, culture is? It... is? To their land. There are very clearly indigenous people who are Christians. Let's listen to that again. So Right, but they're not indigenously Christian. What does that like, mean? What a, what a semantic argument. So, you, so, you, what does so it your mean argument for someone here to is... Be, what does it mean for someone to be indigenously Christian? Right. So is it indigenous to their land that Christianity came to them? Like, is it part of their culture? That... What? That's really, that's a really weird definition to work with. Because, to be fair, none of Europe was, was indigenously Christian by that, by that argument either. Because, because Christianity was founded in in uh, 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 in in J Judea, I think this. I I feel like this undermines like atheistic arguments as well, right? Because now you say, oh well, actually, uh, there like Christianity is indigenous to where? Like, I don't know. That's yeah. Europe needs to return. No, no. Europe would need to like. I feel like I feel like I understand being in good faith to Jake. I understand what he's aiming for, but I feel like he's missed it because like I think the better argument would be to say like um Christianity was like extremely forcibly tr like transmitted via c a colonial project. But but you miss that completely by trying to say that it's indigenous because then you just go, well, no religion is indigenous to anywhere. No idea is indigenous to anywhere. None of them, not any one of them. I understand what he means if we're speaking about indigenous Americans, like Christianity was not a thing in the Americas before Europeans. But wait, it wasn't a thing in Europe before the Romans. And it wasn't a thing in Rome before the uh, disciples of Christ uh, spread out from Judea into Greece and Rome. So it's 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 kind of uh, I don't I don't I I feel like this is a a messed up a messed up framework like from the get go. Yeah, the framing is the problem. Is agriculture indigenous to America? No, only to the fertile valleys of Eastern Europe. It's a good argument for why we should not do it. Hmm. Brace yourself for points of ableism and slurring from Jake. Oh. Okay, all right, well, let's get into this. Christianity became part of their culture. In their... Well, what one's yes, culture is? It is. Part of, is it part of an indigenous yeah, yeah. American culture to be uh, Christian? Is it part of an indigenous? And the answer is, of course, no. Well, of course. Well, at, in the current day, there are uh, there are actually indigenous communities for which Christianity is a big part of their current culture. And that doesn't that doesn't negate colonialism at all, um, but it does if you try to make the argument Jake's argument arguing you do uh, you do invalidate the existing cultures of certain Native American people. This is such a strange this is such a strange approach. Do you see why I made a video about it initially? Because it like. Yeah, um, Christianity does do indoctrination, but it's not as simple to just say, oh, you know, it's not indigenous to your culture. Well, nothing is. Like, like, culture flows in crazy and unpredictable and complicated ways. Even, even pre, even pre-colonial, oops, even pre-colonial religions spread from groups to groups. There were different belief systems uh, in the Americas that spread around, right? I, and again, I, I, to be charitable to Jake, I know what he's aiming at. I just don't think that the argument that he's actually making is what he's aiming at. Oh, serious. That was the, the statement about agriculture was a sarcastic statement from a, um, from a chatter.
Demo Boy says the original claim by President Sunday is also kind of inherently racist because it implies black people in modern times don't have the capacity to refuse whatever is indoctrinated to them. Uh, keep uh, to be clear, the original claim was by Jake, not by President Sunday. Jake was the one who made that to made the claim about modern time about black people in modern times and um i think that i don't think that's what he meant to do but i do think that that was an effect of some of what he was saying let's continue let's continue the debate it's not but that's a far cry from saying there are no indigenous right Christians, of course right? so we don't have a disagreement no no but indigenous <laughs> indigenous people no no but but do you think that you this know better so do you think that you know yes. better about what indigenous christians beliefs actually are than they do what do you mean well it's a strange thing to say that they aren't actually christian because it doesn't emerge as a consequence what do you mean i didn't say they aren't contact. actually christian that's stupid i didn't say they aren't that's a direct christian. quote there are no indigenous christians in america <sighs> so there are no christians that achieved christianity through indigenous means but by that logic there's no indigenous christians in europe what do you mean Christianity there, there aren't. Christianity originates in Palestine. It's it's not indigenous correct. to That's correct. But you're responding yep. but you're responding to someone saying uh there are mm -hmm. devout Christians who are indigenous. Yes. So you're not understanding what I'm saying like it's it's so fucking weird that this uh, yeah, is Yeah, well it's it's, it's it just seems like it's it just so seems like it just seems like I'm saying here. Well, it just seems like such a pointless thing to say then. There are no indigenous Christians who are also part of a religious system that no. is do you not you don't know, contact no, no. i mean need, obviously i think you i think you need to do a better <laughs> job of like listening to what i'm saying to you right like i mean reading the peep typed yeah yeah I'm, you're doing a terrible job uh -huh. the people who are indigenous to america <sighs> oh i i can't help but feel like um i feel like what sunday articulated there is a fairly um, is is like a fair misunderstanding. Like I don't think Br President Sunday is being bad faith. It seems like, at, at least from what I've seen, a lot of people came away with that take as well. And even if you interrogate it further, it still doesn't quite make sense because saying there are no indigenous Christians, well, like President Sunday and also myself just before President Sunday said this, like what President Sunday said, it's um there's there's no indigenous christians anywhere by that logic unless you are like you maybe you could i guess by that argument you would have to have been born in like judea and then you would be an indigenous christian so it just seems kind of like a non-starter and and i mean you can make a statement like that you're not like but I think people would be correct to be like, I don't know what you're saying with that. And also to be like, but but what? why would you say it like that in response to somebody saying that there are, there are indigenous Christians, that there are indigenous people who are Christians, and you respond by saying, no, there aren't. But I mean it in this way, in this way that basically says that not even, you know, there's no such thing as an indigenous Christian at all, anywhere. I just, I feel like it's very strange. Rhodes says, by this logic, someone from the Vatican and is presumably raised in the Catholic Church wouldn't be considered indigenously Christian. Yeah, it just seems very strange. America. Yeah. So we would describe them as natives. By the way, we currently have 666 followers. I mean, not followers, viewers. I, got, I bungled it. 666 viewers. 666 imps are currently hearing the signal pumped strong from hell. Thank you for being here. Make sure that you like the stream and consider supporting me, your lovely demonic mother, who, who works so hard to keep you entertained. Let's continue. Of American, they become from many different tribes, and this would include not just North America, but Central and South as well. Sure. None of those people are Christian through indigenous means. Well, of, of course not, but that goes without saying. That's you right. Don't... So you don't disagree. It doesn't go without saying because you disagree with me about well, it. But, but it does. Because... It does. It does. It does go without. I mean, it does kind of go without saying because, like I said, Christianity as a religion spread outwards from from the Middle East. It was founded there and people converted to it or were raised in it one one or the other. Um, 
no one is like like religions like that aren't they're not intrinsic to you because you were responding to someone God, saying stupid. you were responding to someone saying the indigenous people know that well and are quite pissed off about it they are also devout christians many times and you reply by saying there are no indigenous christians in america they were colonized and indoctrinated which is True, but Correct. that is not that is not to say that, that they're indigenous true. Christians. It's also so you have a also, semantic issue with well, the not, sentence. Well, not merely semantic. Jesus it's also Christ. not. God, I'm so sorry about the audio inequalities. Uh, there's a lot of uh, there's a lot of uh, balance issues. Um, so my voice might come off somewhat quiet in comparison to certain points of this. I apologize in advance. I'm working with the audio that was given to me here. Merely semantic, actually historical. But do you well. disagree with m what I said then? So do I you do disagree. Well, I I do as a matter of fact. Are you familiar, for example, with the diaries? What of is Matt the Turner? disagreement? I was about to explain. Are you familiar, for example, with the diaries of Matt Turner? No. No. Are you familiar? Well, the reason no. why that comes to bear is because Matt Turner is a person who had a religious vision, a Christian one, in fact, and then as what? a consequence of this, went on a killing spree of white American slave owners. So Rebecca, thank you. So. It, it, Hmm. It's actually not entirely the case either that Christianity was even what? strictly the purview of white slavers, even if it was introduced that way, because the result, because the result, because you can conceive of not, so, so you can conceive no, no, of no. Christians that aren't slavers, so that the predominant society, you agree that no, because there are strains of Christianity that are themselves. So you would, so you agree there are strains of Christianity that, that are themselves you, black. You agree distinctly black, the, actually. You agree that the culture that created slavery was a Christian one. The culture that created thank you so much session for the tier one sub glad you regrow regrew your horns as well welcome and thank you it's slavery like a western chattel you're talking about the transatlantic uh I, I mean dude are you it's fucking a little serious? bit can we can well, we can we talk colloquially please wait, why is jake getting mad christianity didn't invent slavery slavery quite literally predates christianity by like a lot by a huge mar margin like, I, that's just an unequivocally true statement that President Sunday said, and he's getting mad about it. I don't, I don't know why. I don't know why that's... Well, we can talk specifically. Do I have specifically. to say the transatlantic slave trade when we're talking about this topic? Like, we've fair, already established... Fair, fair. We are talking about the transatlantic... We are talking about the transatlantic we're, slave trade. This is what I'm talking about, man. So, in the transatlantic <laughs> slave trade, are you aware, for instance, of yeah. the fact that there was actually a concerted effort to prevent slaves from... Uh, actually becoming Christian precisely because yes, there was and then there was also the opposite this was a political disagreement that the but it wasn't had. it wasn't simply a political disagreement between whites though it was also black people who mm -hmm. were themselves Christian and used that as yeah. the basis what is I don't make a distinction between black or white people that's racist uh, like what when you're talking about the history of slavery you are because they treated each other as distinct groups yes like so you're talking about the... You're you, seem, about... you seem very angry. We, we could just talk, you know? I'm angry. I'm you're angry actually the you least annoying could... person, believe it or not, that I've dealt with this week. I'm actually inclined you're, to just talk. You're the most annoying person I've dealt with this week. So the I... reason that I'm annoyed by that... Lot. <laughs> We're only seven minutes into this debate. And the, the like, anger levels are really high. I'm, I'm like... Look... I'm not going to lie. President Sunday can be kind of insufferable at times. You know, I'm not going to lie. You know, I, I love I, I, I love making my podcast President Sunday, but sometimes President Sunday can get a little on point. But I don't feel like this is even a great example of it. Like Sunday is actually seems very chill at the moment. And I don't understand why seven minutes into the debate, it's so spicy already. The vibes are like totally, totally. uh, Yeah. Is because I'm not fucking surprised because you're autistically focused on like semantic oh. syntax structure. Of, like, I, I what am. I'm saying. I am devoted Instead to of, precision. That matters. And to it's me a lot. so fucking brain dead. Like it actually isn't productive at all. This is why okay. people don't fuck with you. This is what I'm talking about. Wait, maybe I'm wrong about this, but didn't 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 actual Jake doesn't actual Jake get like doesn't he like have a big problem with using like the R slur? 
I feel like using autistic, I could be wrong. And those of you, if you are a fan of, of actual Jake, you can tell me if I'm wrong about that. But um, I feel like I remember that. And I feel like using autistic as an insult is like just as bad, if not worse. He does use the arsler. Okay, I could be wrong about that. Jake does not use the arsler. Okay, I'm getting mixed messages here. Weird. Hmm. Uh, let's continue. Yeah. Is like that why this right here? Is that why your yeah. is that why your reviews are down to like five k video now? You used to be doing a lot better. What happened? Like what? What? Do you see what know. I'm saying? Like. Yeah, it seems it seems like it seems like you're. This it seems is like irrelevant to the conversation. Well, no, like, I, I, like think, now, I think I think I think like what it is. Kind of a kind of a low blow, Sunday. Ow. No, not upset at all. I think what it indicates, though, is that people are kind of annoyed by the shtick. I think I think it's you've gotten I think you've gotten the sloppy, shtick. and you're pissing people off without giving anything back for it. The shtick of of trying very hard to dissect this sentence into being incorrect is crazy when you agree with me. I don't have to dissect it into being correct. It's factually incorrect on its face. I have to. It's not. I have to give you a tremendous. That indigenous populations in America did not reach Christianity through indigenous means. It was well, colonization obvious, and obviously not. But neither obviously. Obviously and that's what not. I'm saying but... in a sentence. Well, obviously and not. You agree except, with that? Except when we're and talking. I'm saying it now. Except when we're talking in present tense. So conceive of this. Present a, tense. Yeah, conceive. Yes. Conceive of this. Conceive of this. Absolutely. Conceive of this. So an indigenous. <laughs> Conceive of this, good sir. Conceive of this. Canst thou conceive? Conceive of this. An indigenous man has a child. Mm -hmm. Correct. Yeah. Okay. I, the thing that makes this, the thing that's making this debate so fun so far, is that there are, there are, there's a fedora on either side, and it's literally we're seeing who's, we're seeing whose fedora is more polished at the moment. Who's taken their fedora to the pup to the hatter recently for an adjustment? Your fedora's loose, my good sir. Have a thee, milady. Christianity. Yep. Indigenous uh, child has a child themselves. Goes to He's university. Again. Goes to university. Leaves mm -hmm. Christianity. Okay, goes to school. Was has a child. Into Christianity. Has a so child. Has a child. I'm not done yet. Has a child, okay. not indoctrinated to Christianity, raised by an sure. atheist. Who's... Retcon says, it's good to see President Sunday taking on Jake for a good rebel rousing. <laughs> Indeed. <laughs> fedora versus Fedora. Fight. The school is an atheist, mm -hmm. has a child, yep. is converted in school goes to a church is now a christian mm -hmm. are they now not okay not... hold on i have to rewind this i i i was goofing when i was supposed to be listening let's let's listen to this again indigenous uh child has a child themselves goes to university again goes to university okay i have to go back further i missed the beginning of this thing hold on a second. present tense so conceive of this a... present tense yeah conceive yes. okay, conceive present. of this conceive of this absolutely conceive of this so an indigenous an indigenous man has a child mm -hmm. Correct. Yeah. Indoctrinated into indoctrinated into Christianity. Okay. Yeah. Indigenous uh, child has a child themselves. Okay. Goes to university. Again. Goes okay. to university. Leaves mm -hmm. Christianity. Okay. okay. Goes to but school. Has a child into Christianity. Has a so child. Has a child. I'm not done yet. Has a child. Okay. Not indoctrinated to Christianity. Raised by an sure. atheist. Goes to school. Okay. Is an atheist. Mm -hmm. Has a child. Yep. Is converted in school. Okay. Goes to a church. Is now a Christian. Mm -hmm. Right. Are they now not? No, wait. Okay, that was a very confusing way to put that out, but that actually that's that's actually similar to the argument I made in my video, which is that that happens sometimes. There are converts. It's not the it's not the main way that churches grow, which I talked about very explicitly in my video. But that does happen. Converts do exist, and they're not like a a completely non-existent faction of people. Um, because of course, like the main way that the church grows is through like stuff like the Quiverful movement, where you have a family that has like eight children and all of them are raised in the church from the get go, but they do exist. And you, dis discounting them completely undermines your argument as an atheist. Let's continue. Not a Christian who is indigenous. See
isn't con isn't conversion isn't conversion a type of indoctrination in itself? Well, yeah, it is in a certain way, but but not in the, not in the way that it's being used here. But it's being used here. It's talking about indoctrinating like as a child. Um, of course, on a very technical level, uh, indoctrination it, it can include a lot of different things if you're super technical about it. But um, I think what they're referring to is like children being indoctrinated, being raised in the church. I think that's the way that it's being used. At least that's that seems to be the agreed upon way that both of them are using it. Nikki says, are you not an atheist? I am an atheist. Um, I'm absolutely an atheist. Um, in fact, I mean, uh, most of a lot of my oh, not a lot. I would say like I've done like two videos recently talking about how I think that atheists online have gotten really rusty and are failing to actually be able to engage with Christians and it actually makes a uh, it makes a difference. It makes a pretty big difference in how the effect the in the efficacy of arguments um, both to people who are agnostic to other atheists who are trying to become smarter and also to theists who you're hopefully trying to, I, I assume, convince to move to a better position. But let's continue. The, 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 the issue with what you're doing- What do you mean? No, no, this is, no, no. The no, issue with the what issue you're what doing- you're doing is in denying- Are you gonna allow me to finish a sentence without you spazzing out? What are you talking about? You finished multiple sentences. This is a paragraph you're saying and I'm- Point. Bazingi, bazingi, b b b bazinga, bazingi moment. Now we have ableism slurs being used on both sides of the debate. Masur, masur, have at thee! I hit you with my own. Going to talk about well, yeah, the I'm other making stuff an argument that that's longer than two grunts long. Yeah. <laughs> well, the argument here. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> What are you talking about? You finished multiple sentences. This is a paragraph you're saying, and I'm going to talk about. Well, yeah, the I'm other making an argument that that's longer than two grunts long. Yeah. <laughs> well, the argument here is foundationally incorrect, and this is the spot where I'm going to stop it because it's incorrect. Okay. Go on. Okay. So you have you have initial indoctrination when you have Christianity invade any sort of cultural space. Most of the culture is Christian. You can't be unaffected by that if you have a dad that was a Christian or a, a, an atheist and then now you convert later on. Well, that goes that is for... not indoctrination. Even the atheist child, like you, you had this person that was sure that deconverted in college. That person mm -hmm. has already has still been indoctrinated. Of course, you already have beliefs that you don't even realize are inherent to your religious culture, such as misogyny is a great example. Wait, uh, hold on, wait, wait, but this argument is the, wait, hold on. This argument counteracts actual Jake's argument. I know that this is kind of this is going to sound kind of weird, but bear with me for a second. Jake argued there's no such thing as an indigenous Christian because it's not a part of your culture. But now he's arguing that the third generation native person who goes to college and stops being a Christian is already uh, indoctrinated to Christianity as a part of his culture, which is the opposite argument of what he made at the beginning. That would imply that this indigenous person, this third generation indigenous person, is Christian by culture. So it's, this is why I feel like his argument is, uh, is flawed. This is where one of the big issues with the argument comes in. Do you see what I'm saying? Does everyone understand what I'm saying? This is actually a contradiction of Jake's own argument. And also why I think that it would make more sense to, cha to uh, acknowledge that the initial framing was probably a mistake and move from there. Yeah, exactly, Felsen Forma. It also implies that culture itself is indoctrination. Yeah, it does, which I think you can make that argument, but I don't think that if you want to make that argument, I don't think that it's what the argument that Jake is making, because I am somebody who would argue that, like, for example, Christianity has embedded itself, uh, certain forms of extreme conservative Christianity, especially have embedded itself deeply into our laws. As an example, um, uh, 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 some, some, uh, laws in, in like, say, uh, Germany, for example, Doe did a whole research thing on this. Some laws in Germany, um, that were present 
post the monarchy came from when they were directly one by one imported from when uh, Germany was still under the control of Roman Catholics, uh, specifically the laws about homosexuality. They were literally just carried forward, just like full, full in completely. So there are parts of our culture, even parts of our culture that we, you know, after post secularization that are taken for granted from earlier points. But I think that's true about a lot of culture, and that's a very that's a very complicated and nuanced uh, uh, subject. That's not that that I don't think matches with like this indigenous Christianity argument. Yeah, aren't you born agnostic before you're taught religion? Well, I mean, yeah, to a certain degree, but that's true about all kinds of things. That gets you into a bigger conversation about ideology as a whole, because humans are born on an ideological level as functionally a blank state slate. And from the moment that they begin their life, they start to become indoctrinated in various forms of, of ideology. Um, one of the first ones is gender ideology. Not the, not the buzzword gender ideology, but the actual gender ideology. From the moment you're born, you are assigned a gender at your birth based on observations and assumptions made by a doctor. That's an example of something that would lead to an interesting conversation, but I don't think that, that the way that this conversation is framed right now would let you even get to that point. Kelsey Soloway with the $10 super chat. Your dress is, says your dress is cute. Thank you so much. I really appreciate that. Thank you. And thank you for supporting the show. What if actual Jake's argument is that there are no indigenous Christians at all and he doesn't realize it? I think, I think he doesn't, I don't think he 100% has like his argument nailed down. Which is a fine thing, by the way. Some of these topics are really complicated and it's very difficult to have like a rock solid answer. But I, I feel like Jake has been fairly aggressive um, for being in the position of not having as rock solid of an argument. 8D5D2D Derek says, you might say that actual Jake has been foisted by his own petard. Yes, indeed, there has been a, there's a, a bit of petard hoist. My good sir, hoist by thine own petard. Not the distinct purview of Christianity, unfortunately. No, it's not. Patriarchy, for example, then? Well, I mean, is, for, for know, example. Patriarchy is an axe misogyny on people, and that's how it works. So, like... <laughs> gay, gay fish! <laughs> gay fish says, you might say actual Jake is petarded. <laughs> hey, hey. B -b -b -bazinga. I'll give you the bazinga on that one for this one, but you better be careful. You better watch it. I'm watching you. But you understand the problem, though. You're responding to people who are saying there are indigenous people who are Christians, and your retort is to say they are not Christians indigene indigenously, therefore there are no indigenous That's or correct. black Christians, but it's clearly not the case. There are clearly black and indigenous people who are Christians. And who, right, who believe are, that they aren't devoutly. so indigenously, they are so through the what is it? What does it, mean, though, Christian, what does it mean, though, to be a Christian? What does it mean, though, to be a Christian indigenously? Explain that. Didn't you talk to Beckett recently? You remind me of a, hmm. of like a, didn't you talk to Beckett about uh, patriarchy? Is that you? Someone's mentioned that you did. I, have you? I, mm -hmm. I, After I have. After I talked to them? I have. Right. Yes. Okay. So, do you understand the foundational understand the the argument that I was making to Beckett about patriarchy? Because it sounded like you agreed with me, right? I couldn't, for the life of me, recall. I know that Beckett was wrong. Oh, okay. <laughs> so, these are the same. These are the same. Religion and patriarchy work in much the same way. I don't know what is being referred to here, at all. I have no idea. I've not seen any of the re requisite content to know what's being referenced here. I'm very sorry. This is what it feels like to be like a chatter when you come in in the middle of a drama stream and people are saying names that you don't recognize and you have no idea what's being talked about. Anyway, let's continue. There's, they're, they're 
cultural systems that... Uh, certainly they do, but there is a far cry from saying that a, the preponderance of people who are religious mm -hmm. in a given place is the consequence of the history of slavery and saying that therefore... Literally, it has to... It, it people people it of a specific of ethnic description... Well, not necessarily, actually. The, the yes, number necessarily in no, the United not, States. Not necessarily, actually. Our history is not... We, we, we can't decouple it. It's impossible. Yes, it's... You don't it, need that, to decouple it. There's a simple statistical fact. The number of people who trace their ancestry to slavery, I think, is roughly 80%. That leaves roughly 20% of black people in America who do not trace their ancestry to slavery. And right. even then within those... I don't think... And, and to, to President Sunday's credit here, 20% is not like a small group of people. That's a lot of people. Like that's a pretty that's a pretty hefty chunk. That's not like a marginal group. It's not like like you know, twenty percent is a pretty large amount. So, yeah, I don't think you can just like hand wave that. Because there are people who are going to have gaps in their lineage where they have been cut off. And they are still, from the religious. This is going to blow your fucking mind. Are you a leftist? That point. I am. Are you going to blow your mind? Okay. Yes. So non. So, so black people that are not that don't have like direct lineage to Western chattel slavery are right. still victims of colonialism. Sure. Okay. So. Okay. All right. But how does how do? But that does not mean that they are not actually Christians either. It doesn't mean they're not, not actually, actually religious. I'm not saying anyone's not more to the actually point, religious. More to the point, you actually said something very... I never very, said that. You actually said very explicitly, I can show it on the screen, black Americans are religious because they are indoctrinated yes. into it by their slave owners. Oh, that... I, I noted that also. In my coverage, I pointed out that that, that, that was a big mistake to say religious as well because of, that's, like, that's like a super big mess up. That's a big flub. To say religious when you mean Christianity, when like that actually again undermines your own argument. If your if your argument is that Christianity uh, like suppressed uh, unnaturally uh, suppressed and damaged the culture of people who were enslaved, which I would argue you can make that argument very easily. Um, to then to, the, to then discount the pre the the previously existing religiosity actually damages your claim. Hmm. Stra a, a weird a, that is I think I think present Sunday just gets the point here com like completely saying religious saying black people are only religious is just wrong like you just messed up and Jake should just say oh sorry I misspoke there correct yeah they were religious of course before they were you just slaves. said 80 percent yes that's correct yes yes yeah so black Americans. So you're actually were factually religious. wrong on two counts. They were religious before they were enslaved, and only eighty percent of them trace their ancestry to slaves. <laughs> so, so when you say categorically so, that so black when, Americans so, are religious because I'm sorry, the laugh, the laugh, the, the smuckle made me laugh. <laughs> you're, you're, you're appealing to like the owners. fucking. You're, you're appealing. The facts no, of the matter. I'm afraid. Night? No, you're appealing to 20th or 19th century immigrants from fucking, like, like Kenyan immigrants that came over here on purpose, not through, like... I didn't make the present tense statement that black Americans oh my God. categorically because, are religious because saying. they were indoctrinated into it by their slave owners. Right, because, Sorry, dude. see, this is what, you're doing the thing again where you're like, well, What's on technicality, thing? you can't say anything with 100%. Well, what you're calling I, being on a technicality anything, is me being I correct. Say, he, that's not a technicality. You 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 flubbed the initial statement, and it kind of seems like you're like like kind of just seems like he's mad about it. Like saying religious was just incorrect. Obviously, like I mean, there's so much history there. Like for example, how um how a uh, African religions um that 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 like the practitioners of African religions uh, incorporated uh, and maintained those beliefs when they were brought forcibly uh, as a part of the slave trade to America. And some of those beliefs actually ended up as a part of the later churches that they sometimes founded. Uh, uh, it, it's like, it's actually super interesting. And, and erasing that, again, damages your own argument, first of all, but secondly, just means that you're like, for no reason, closing your mind to a 
very, very uh, uh, interesting piece of anthropological history. Um, the fact that like the preservation of African religions was very important to people who had been enslaved and that a lot of times the, their, the religions that they held before they came to America served as a point, a point of liberation, that they connected with other enslaved peoples uh, based on those religions. This is um, uh, pa uh, pan-Africanism is is somewhat tied to this, right? Where it's the uh, the diaspora movement, um, basically saying, here is what we can uh, c together connect on that was stolen from us. Yeah, yes, Heavy Gretel points up, Google, Google the history of hoodoo and voodoo. Yes, exactly, precisely, precisely. No, 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 no. If not. I say... If I say anything, anything, with even a smidge of hyperbole. Another great example, Santeria. Santeria is another example of this. It's, that's not hyperbole. It's that's a that's a simple. It is hyperbole. No, the nature of what categorical the statements is they're either true or they're false. There's not. You know what I mean when a... I say black, black Americans who descend from slaves. You don't say who descend from slaves. You say black Holy Americans are shit. religious because they were indoctrinated into it by their slave saying? owners. You're actually, Americans... third count. You're actually incorrect on a right, third count. You're actually incorrect on a third count. On technicality, you're because not you even have a technicality. Actually, actually, a really, actually, a really critical point. Dude, you're, you're incorrect. So bad you're incorrect faith. on a third count. Listen to the sentence I'm you're saying. You're incorrect. I'm reading so that, it on screen. I'll put it on okay, screen so for the you. Claim th Here. So the claim that I'm making right now, that you already agreed with. Are you gonna... Insomnia Noir with the $10. Thank you very much for supporting my stream. Coin to our streamer for keeping nuance in this discussion of religion. I appreciate this as a lefty theist. You're very welcome, and thank you for supporting my show. Uh, I think things are more interesting when you keep the nuance around. I think you have more fun and you learn more. Thanks for supporting me. Retcon says, remember when Ghost Recon made Santeria into a drugged up death cult militia? Oh, oh my god. Unfortunately, yes. Engage? I'm listening to him. I'm waiting for you to finish your sentence. <laughs> Dude, this is so fucking lame. Are you trying to buy time? I thought you were about to say something. I'm not trying to buy time. Well, then let's I'm out with it. Let's hear understand it. So, do you understand the claim, the, 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 the argument that I'm making in general? Instead of having to go to Twitter, where I obviously need brevity to communicate with people, I'm not going to qualify every fucking... One. Well, this isn't a matter of brevity. It wasn't a brevity issue. You, you said the wrong thing. And it, it, feels un, it feels like Jake is really hurting his own position by refusing to just say, Oops, sorry, I said religiosity or I said religion generally when I actually meant Christianity. That's a very big difference. It's a, it's just a huge difference. That's not like a small disagreement. That's like a big difference in meaning. And I think that anybody who was confused by that, uh, I, I would, would be fair, would be correct to be confused by that. I brought it up in my video and I have no investment in this I mean I have no investment in in who wins this. I don't I don't care. I'm having fun watching it. I care about the subjects of course, but Two, three, four, with five, time six, frames? Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Like this 17, is actually 18. how you argue? Eighteen words long. You actually have a few more characters to go. You didn't this need to say black Americans gotta go up religious. Right. Huh? So I have to fill out I have to fill out 140 characters on the tweet or whatever it is, 280. Well, you could say this. You could say the preponderance of black churches is the result but of I didn't the indoctrination say that. by slavery. I didn't say that. No, you didn't say that. That would have been a correct thing to say. What you said was wrong. No, it would have been a and fucking autistic wrong, thing to say. And you're actually wrong nobody... on a third point. Bro! Bro! Oh, man! You want to know who's winning this argument? Uh, the autists. Shout out. Shout out to the autistics. It would have been autistic for me to, to correctly state my words and not completely misrepresent my own argument. Hmm. Can we get some, can we get some fucking uh, autisms in chat? Can we get some autism in chat? All right, let's see. Let's see. Wait a minute. We got, we got almost 700 viewers right now. Can we get an autism combo? All right. Listen up, everybody. We haven't done a combo in a while. Let's see if we can still do a combo, okay? Listen, first, 
I'm gonna instruct you. First, clear your cache, which means type anything except for the word autism in chat, okay? Then, yeah, see people typing autism load? They're clearing their cache, okay? You gotta clear it. You can type clear, you can type the letter A, it doesn't matter, okay? It's, it's lowercase autism, all lowercase, all right? No caps, hear me? First, clear your cache. Second, autism, all lowercase, all right? I'm gonna count down, and when I say go, that's when you type in all lowercase autism in chat, okay? Nothing else. Don't type anything else, just that. One message, one autism, when I say go, all right? Are we ready? Are we loaded? It is, oh, by the way, oh yeah, this only counts for, for website chat. It won't work on YouTube. This won't work on YouTube. YouTube doesn't have that feature. Okay. Wait, what? You, 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 you prematurely, you prematurely fired. Reload, 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 reload. Reload, reload. All right, here we go. Three. Two. One. Go! Go, 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 go! Ooh! Oh! Wow! A 65 combo! We had a combo breaker because somebody put the dank in there and we had somebody who typed autism. 65 is pretty good. 65 is pretty good. All right, we'll have another opportunity in the future maybe. Good job. 60, 65 is pretty damn good. Let's continue. Let's continue. Shout out to the autists. It listens to. Look, if the autistic You're wrong people. On every look, point. Jake. Jake, if the autistic people are You're... more correct than you, then I will bear that cross. But more to the point, you're actually incorrect on a third. No. You're incorrect on a this third is point. This not good faith. You were incorrect dude. on a third point, Jake. You're I'm damn disappointed. I was hoping we'd have a conversation, but you were actually incorrect on a third point. And the third point you were incorrect you upon. You just want me to write paragraphs I so wasn't that I'm quite, technically correct I would, I would, on every point. I would love to finish my sentence if you wouldn't mind. You were incorrect oh, on a. Shit. You were incorrect oh. on a third point. And that, as a matter of fact, it's not simply the case that people, mm -hmm. that, that slaves were indoctrinated to Christianity by their slave masters, because in fact, there was a large movement to ban them from doing so. This is also part of the reason why they were, they were strict literacy We just talked about this, upon. that you can conceive But I wasn't finished speaking, that... I wasn't finished speaking, Jake. Okay, so uh, we agree that so there can was I finish, a minority can I, of... can I finish my sentence, please? Would that, would that, would that... Naomi Chan says, what's a tiff? What's a tiff, Sunday? I'm not gonna lie. I am, I, I don't want to be too mean, okay? But I am getting a little bit of a what's a tiff energy right now. There is definitely some what's a tiff going on right now. That hurt you so much? No, is the answer. We agree, okay, that, so the, we not agree only, that a minority of Christians did not want black people to be Christian because not they a minority, found them to not be. Not a minority at all. Yes, a minority. No, this was, this was sufficient to get it into law. There were limitations. In some strict places. Oh my god, dude! Which the places, majority Jake? position. The majority position. You don't know throughout do you? the history of America. Became to transition black slaves into Christianity and indigenous people as a means to pacify and inoculate them to Western cultural norms. Like this is a well. Well, you've actually got you've actually got the causality backwards. Because actually, originally, there were mixed-race churches, and then as a consequence of them being afraid of black people getting the tales of liberation of an enslaved people from the Bible into their heads. There were some people that made that argument, that's true. Not just some people who made that argument. This is the reason why there were laws put in place on black people not being able to become ministers. There was a deep fear about this. This was widespread. That was true in some places, There's yes, a wonderful that is book not I what happened. What happened was that Black people became indoctrinated through generational 
proximity to the practice as they were owned and operated by white Christians? Well, clearly not. Throughout the because, history of their because, presence well, in America. Because, well, it's true. And the, the schools that they had to go to? Well, it's true the proximity if, Well, it's true the proximity of black slaves to Christianity was the consequence of the transatlantic slave trade. Once there, it's not simply the case that there was simply a straight line from them to being indoctrinated into the nature of present Christianity today. Correct. This is This is a good point. This is the this is sort of the crux of the issue, which is that making the jump, the making a causal jump from slavery to modern day Christianity when you're arguing with a modern day Christian is not a very it's not a very effective argument because you don't actually know what the story of the person that you're arguing with is. You have no idea uh, like unless you do. If you're arguing on a personal basis with a friend who's like family you know, lineage goes back to slavery and you're like trying to be like, dude, uh, your family was, was indoctrinated, etc. First of all, I feel like that's a really cringe ass thing to have an argument. Okay. Can I just be real? I can't imagine, I can't imagine being, I'm maybe, maybe this is, maybe I'm just, maybe my woke levels are too high, but I can't imagine being a white person, a white atheist arguing with a black Christian and and thinking that it would be a good approach for me to try and convince them that because their great grandfather was a slave that their Christianity is invalid like I in no world would I ever be caught dead doing that like that sounds like so cringe to me like <laughs> that spaghetti says I can't even handle the cringe just thinking about that like, can you imagine that? <laughs> I, I can't. I can't imagine doing that. That guy who could, the guy who could with the two, tier two sub, hey, I didn't realize I was two minutes behind so I could be a part of the autism combo. So instead, here's some cash for that shitty debt. Thank you, I appreciate that. I really do. Oh man, I feel like, oh, okay. So, oh man, that just sounds, yeah, it's, yes, yes, exactly. Liz, Liz B in the YouTube chat says, don't give Jubilee any ideas. It does sound like a Jubilee prompt. It, that does actually sound a white atheist versus black Christian Jubilee video. Oof. A lot of that was, a lot of that was not just more, more not just more complicated. A lot of it played a critical part actually in resistance movements. And to say afterwards, despite these themselves being an this amalgamation, is crazy. I wasn't to finished say speaking. That the, hold them on. Being an no, no, no. I know you weren't finished speaking. Them being an amalgamation. Because you made another incorrect claim. Them being, you made another incorrect claim. No, I didn't have to address it. Them being an you amalgamation. Did make an incorrect claim. No, I didn't. Them being an amalgamation of traditional religious practices from where they were taken from and Christianity as well. It's not correct to say that these churches and these religious movements were strictly the result it's of indoctrination crazy. by colonialism. It's crazy to say, it's crazy to say that because they were forced to adopt Christianity into their native religious practices. Well, no, they actually did them. so as a matter of resistance. It wasn't simply they were forced to. In fact, they were forced not to in some cases. They're not I mean, following both, what I'm saying. Right? Like they had to, they had to, there were a lot of for instance, the musicality is one. The cooking is another. Actually, the musicality was a critical point that actually came from black culture. That's one of the yes, things. Yes, that's what I said. Correct. Well, I'm not sure what you were responding to then, because that seems to serve what I was saying. You seem... Man. I actually don't think you're capable of having a truly productive conversation if you're not I willing to understand I think you're a little slow tonight. People... Maybe you should put the corn cob outfit on. Maybe that'll what, speed you up Do you see what I'm saying? Bit. Like, it's just bad faith, man. What? It's just bad faith. Like you're just trying to do little gotcha thingies, and it's I, like I actually wasn't. I was actually trying to have an intelligent you conversation. You actually clearly you are I was not optimistic. having an intelligent conversation. This you is are correct. Having I'm a, not. You are having I'm disappointed. A, I was hoping to. Yeah. <sighs> you are having a conversation about like about like the precision of speech on Twitter, and it's just fucking crazy. Well, yeah, because when you say something wrong, the issue there is with precision. You're you you've missed the correct statement. But that's not what the argument was that I was having. People were not. You are the one person oh, out really? of the people that are, are that are disagreeing with me on technicality. I don't think that's true. I I don't believe that's correct. 
uh, at least from what I saw, there was a lot of people who were pointing out exactly what President Sunday was. Um, especially, like, I, I mean, I pointed out in my video from, like, a while ago, um, uh, you know, whenever I recorded that, it was a couple days ago, like last week or something, um, you know, I pointed out the, the problem with saying religion there, that that's actually a very major, it may, you're making a, like, if you say religion, you're making a completely different argument because saying religion there says that, that, uh, you know, victims of the slave trade had no religion before they came over to America. That's just, you're just making the wrong argument. I, I don't know. Everybody else that I haven't haven't well, that's not with, a technic that's not a technicality. That's actually that's actually it pretty, literally is technicality that you're like, well, twenty percent. No, no, no. Like, Wait, what? No, the twenty the twenty percent. Twenty percent. Look, maybe I'm maybe I'm wrong here, but twenty percent is a pretty big number when you're talking about an entire population of people. I, I just. I thought he was t uh, sorry. I thought he was talking about the religion part as a technicality. He's talking about S President Sunday correctly bringing up that like there are black Christians in America who do not have ancestry to slavery that were became Christians elsewhere. Like I don't know. Okay. All right. Is is just one of the ways in which your statement is incorrect. If you're going to say that yeah, black people in America are religious as a consequence, and you don't even say Christian at this point, you just say religious. If you're saying they're religious Correct. strictly. Yeah, and that's wrong. If you're saying they're religious strictly as a consequence wrong. of colonialism, no. Oh, wait a minute. Wait, did Jake just double down on religion? Saying they're religious Correct. strictly religious wait. as a consequence. And one of the ways in which your statement is incorrect. If you're going to say that yeah, black people in America are religious as a consequence, and you don't even say Christian at this point, you just say religious. If you're saying they're religious Correct. strictly. Wait. Wait a second. What? Has he... Okay. Oh, man. He really just lost the whole plot here. To double down on that is ridiculous. That's like... That's ridiculous. It's so factually wrong. It's so factually incorrect. Like, so he he's doubling down here on saying that religiosity did not exist in black people who were who were kidnapped by the slave trade. They just didn't have any religion before they came over here. That is, that is ridiculous. He, like, I cannot imagine being more wrong in this conversation. I can't believe he just said that. Not wait, hold on. Let's just let me just make sure. I want to be charitable here. Yeah, and that's wrong. One of the ways in which your statement is incorrect. If you're going to say that yeah, black people in America are religious as a consequence, and you don't even say Christian at this point, you just say religion. You don't even say Christian at this point. You say religion. If you're saying they're religious Correct. strictly. Correct. Yeah, and that's wrong. If you're saying they're religious strictly as a wrong. consequence of. It's not wrong. Two times. Two times, he doubles down on that. Oh, dude. Dude. That is just very incorrect. That is just incredibly incorrect. Oh, boy. Colonialism. No, because they were religious. Slaves were religious long in it's advance of being. Sl the tribe. Three times. Three times. From which slaves were captured were religious yeah, long in advance of Yeah, I mean, I mean if we're not talking about. We're People encountered. People. People encountered Christianity mm -hmm. without ever coming to Europe or North America who were black. Yeah, so, but I mean, like, so when, when I you say, say when black Americans, you are deeply incorrect. I am sorry, my friend. Only if you have this, like, semantic perspective on it where you're like, no, dude, that's not semantic. That's, that's not semantic at all. That's, like, deeply important to the meaning. Even President Sunday assumed. Even President Sunday assumed that what was meant there was Christian. But three times he just said, no, I meant religious generally. That's not fucking semantic. Well, well that's not That's not semantic. That's actually really an essentially is, wrong man. claim. You're actually it's in defiance of both... Wrong. You're in defiance of both history and sociology. You're just wrong. It is not in defiance of either of those disciplines it to is. acknowledge what you have already acknowledged to me. You Which are is? simply upset what have I acknowledged about, to you, Jake? about 
the effects of colonialism upon the effects of colonialism do not counteract the agency of black people today who may agency come from... do you want to talk about agency in regards to religious belief because there is none of course there is in fact you the very re... in fact the very liberal notion that the no, magistrate no, no, no. it's in fact the very liberal i was about to speak please can i just without interruption for a minute the very, the very liberal. I need to listen to that again. I was just reading a comment. I need to listen to this again. And sociology. We're not talking about people talking encountered about... Pe people encountered Christianity mm -hmm. without ever coming to Europe or North America who were black. Yeah, so, but I mean, like, so when, when I you say, say when black Americans, you are deeply incorrect. I am sorry, my friend. Only if you have this like semantic perspective on it where you're like well, well that's not that's not semantic that's actually really an essentially is, wrong man. claim you're actually it's in defiance of both wrong. you're in defiance of both history and sociology you're just wrong it is not in defiance of either of those disciplines it to is. acknowledge what you have already acknowledged to me you Which are is? simply upset what have i acknowledged about, to you Jake? about the effects of colonialism upon the effects of colonialism topic. do not counteract the agency of black people today who may agency come from... do you want to talk about agency in regards to religious belief because there is none of course there is okay i need to i need to to take a moment here if that's true if we try to put together all of the arguments that jake made here today then jake also has no agency here and having been risen in a christian culture like that that also in, in, in indicts him doesn't it i don't know like i don't think i can agree with the idea that there's no agency in religion whatsoever i think that's i i don't i think that means having no no belief in functional free will at all like i agree i would I made a whole video talking about how uh, a lot of religions abuse people's, um, like, uh, uh, are manipulative. That they manipulate people and they pressure people. But I don't think you can just erase agency in this way. I think that's kind of um, ridiculous. And also, it's an extremely doomer position because it basically means there's no reason whatsoever to engage in this topic at all. People will just either be religious or they won't be religious. If there's no agency in it whatsoever, if people don't choose any part of their religion. But it's super, it's such a strange way of looking at, um, it's such a strange way of looking at the world, right? Like, I will agree that there are some people whose beliefs are significantly less, like, um, significantly less thought out than others, but that's a huge spectrum. There are all kinds of different types of people in the world. I, I, I don't know, wow. This is such a, such a weird, uh, this is such a weird approach. In fact, the very, in fact, the very liberal notion that you... If I were to steal man, maybe he meant you don't choose your beliefs, which is true, but you do choose your beliefs. People do choose their beliefs. Of course they do. People choose their beliefs in any rational meaning of the, the word choose. Now, I would say that some people have, uh, uh, not, not all people have the full the same range of choice on their beliefs and some people don't really choose their beliefs but people do like you can't categorically say that no one chooses their beliefs because people do choose their beliefs all the time there are some people who literally take everything that they're taught and just and just port it forward no you don't your beliefs are the conclusion of thinking i feel like that interprets belief as like um as like a purely emotional thing i guess this depends on how you define beliefs okay to be to be fair to that position if you if you uh say that like you don't choose your beliefs um that your beliefs are sort of just emotional and mental conclusions then i guess you could say nobody chooses their beliefs but people do choose how 
but people choose how to engage with the world, which leads them to their beliefs. People do choose to seek out different sources of information. People do choose different habits. So I would say that, that you do, to a certain degree, have a choice. There's choices in the process of formulating beliefs. Most people are born into their religion, though. I don't disagree with that. But a lot of people, through the process of their life, choose to question their religion. They choose to de dig deep into their religion and come to conclusions on their own. I mean, I don't know. I am not a like a free a free will absolutist by any means, but I think that it starts to stretch the uh, it starts to stretch the point in having any conversation if you say that there's no agency in belief whatsoever. Demo Boy points out, if religion removes all agency, then the number of Christians in the U.S. wouldn't be steadily declining. That's also true. As Christians come in contact with different ideas, some of them choose to stop participating in Christianity and pursue other ways of life. I think this conversation is suffering from a dire lack of nuance. Ashmar says, example, I don't think my beliefs about Zionism would be so complicated if I hadn't been born and raised Jewish, but it was my own agency that led me to abandon my support for the Israeli state. That's a fair example. Danny says, uh, saying there is no agency completely removes many agnostic Christian theologians. It completely removes the agency of secular thinkers who, part, who take part in Christian traditions to introspect on their beliefs. Unless he's making a no free will under any me metaphysical belief. But I don't think that's the argument. I don't think that's the argument he's making either. I think there's a difference between agency and choice. Like you have agency when it comes to gender identification, but you technically don't choose it. Well, you choose how you openly identify, but you don't necessarily choose what's inside of you. But nobody's argued that every single aspect of yourself is a choice. This is why I think that, um, this is why I think that, like, there needs to be another layer to this conversation that isn't being had right now. Sirius says the debate on doxastic voluntarism is complicated. Boy, you're telling me. B buzing bazinga. You can't just choose to believe anything at all, but you can absolutely put yourself into situations where you will come to believe things more readily. Yeah, I think that's rational and fair. Or ignore evidence which might dispel you of those beliefs. What the chatter is probably saying is you can't just go into your brain and switch out your beliefs like you would paintings on your wall. Oh, I agree with you 100% on that. I agree with you. I agree with you. You can decide what goes inside of you. Yeah. Yeah. All right, let's continue. I want to we got to we got to move off this. I think we've we've added some nuance even though I don't think we'd I think we could go for hours on that subject. Let's let's listen. Let's listen in. The magistrate. No, 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 no. It's in fact the very liberal I was about to speak, please. Can I? Just without interruption for a minute. The very the very liberal Oh, another good point. No agency would mean that there would be only one form of Christianity, not 30,000 different sects of Christianity. That's also true. That is also very true. There is clearly uh, a lot of deviation that comes as the result of reflection and conscious thought. Liberal, the very liberal notion that it's not the place of the magistrate to dictate religious truth is itself downstream from the Christian idea that without sincerity of belief, salvation is not attained. This is the entire premise of John Locke's mm -hmm. letter concerning so, toleration. Uh, and so I likewise, and so likewise, and so likewise, unfortunately, right. yeah. unfortunately, and this is why the white slavers were very loath to let black slaves learn about the details of Christian religion. <laughs> I felt unceremonious. Un dumb. I agree. Unfortunately, unfortunately, it's simply, it's simply not the case that uh, there is no, there is no freedom of agency in Christianity. You're, you're That's not true, or in Islam for that matter. They they have yeah. agency in the. 
Oh man, that's such a bad look. Present Sunday is like actually explaining his his view here in a very serious turn, and Jake just kind of smuckles and says, "You sound monotone, bro." Hmm. Hmm. Prosy Rosie says, uh, uh, "Demon Mama, does does the fact that you were an atheist who had who had been in a religious cult gra uh, grant you better insight than both parties here?" Um, I mean, to a certain degree. I, I would like to think it does. I don't know that it truly, that it like grants me immediately more, uh, um, you know, more stuff. But like, I've talked about extensively how while I was a member of, uh, you know, while I was in the church still, while I was still in the cult, um, I stopped believing in the cult before I stopped believing in Christianity as a result of, you know, studying because I felt like it was valuable to study um, the Bible. And so I did. I chose to study the Bible deeply so that I could understand it best. And I came to disagreements very, you know, fairly organically against the church that led to me being critical of the church before I even left Christian, before I ever left Christianity. Um, so, and obviously, you know, there's an infinitely untraceable amount of factors that led me to want to study the Bible. Some of my siblings weren't interested in that sort of thing. But I think that we test the, um, like I said, you start to degrade the value of conversation at all if we're just willing to completely and utterly write off um, any agency in any of these things. Like, uh, I think that the church that I grew up in was incredibly manipulative and desperately tried to indoctrinate people in and did succeed. I've talked many times about how they try to build a shell of thought terminating cliches of, uh, of, uh, of doctrinal justifications to prevent followers from ever questioning. But Followers sometimes still choose to question anyway based on other factors, and I think it's important to do so. And I also think that if we are, uh, if as somebody who doesn't want people to fall into that, um, I think it helps us identify the ways that we can help people break out of those shells. Like, for example, uh, as somebody who doesn't want people to fall into cults, I can encourage people to, um, to be critical. Uh, not necessarily just to just say, leave your religion, but rather to encourage people to say, hey, you should question these things and you should open your mind to the idea that you could have interpreted it incorrectly. And that will sometimes encourage people to be able to question the shell that's been sort of built around manipulatively around their brain. Um, yeah. This has a lot of, uh, Killjoy says, this has a lot of content brain energy. I think at this point, Jake has abandoned arguing a point and is now just debating for donos. You could be right. I don't want to assume that. Um, he does definitely seem a little mad, and I feel like at some points he's being, he's accusing Sunday of being bad faith when it is actually him who's being bad faith. Sirius says, the reason that Jake says this is because he sees it as impossible to arrive at religious belief rationally, as he'll say later. If you have that ludicrous position, you could make a very tortured argument for how if someone does have religious beliefs, it must be because they were tricked or stupid. Thus, there's no agency involved. This isn't a good argument, but it's the only thing I can think of that also doesn't that doesn't also deny Jake's own agency. Yeah, um, this is something I've had an issue with 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 anti-theists at times is that they deny that people do that some people do have rational conclusions for why they're religious. It's not the majority. A lot of people are religious simply because they were told at some point by someone, usually over and over again, to be religious and that being religious was correct. But there are a lot of people who have rational structures, very rational structures, even if, even if factually flawed, they still have a rational conclusion for why they're religious. And sometimes, uh, even people who were indoctrinated still have a rationale. It's just a heavily flawed rationale. Yeah. Let's continue. Let's continue. Capacity to choose and so, to think freely, just like you do, even though they're not mm -hmm. white, Jake. Uh-huh. So, I appreciate the uh, insinuation, my dude. Um, very good faith. Mm. Very constantly good fucking faith, dude. 
you just okay you can't call president sunday bad faith when you just literally ignored his entire a uh, very structured and actually serious argumentation to just call him monotone and say, I didn't hear what you said and I don't care. That's like the definition of bad faith. There's a little bit of pro projection going on here. Uh, so you do not have any agency as a child uh, when you are indoctrinated into religious belief. The uh, example I gave was of someone who's converted in college. Mm -hmm. Converted in college, uh, as you live upon Christian hegemony, and you are... Jake, you live uh, upon Christian hegemony. Are you more free correct. than a black person? Oh, no! Uh-oh! Uh-oh! Uh, why are you... It's interesting that you frame it's it as a black person. Oh, what do you mean? No, dude, that's a direct question. Oh, don't pivot away here. Question. Because I have simply never made a racial claim. Well, do you believe there what are no mean? religious... No, dude, no! Come on! Ah, God damn it! Oh no, dude! Come on! What? People, period. You then. made an explicitly racial claim. Or are you highlighting black you and indigenous no people? No religious in people. No, 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 no. That's not what are I there said. No... I said you can't achieve religious belief. Well, with, let me with, let like, me quote thought. again. Black Americans are religious because they were indoctrinated mm -hmm. into it by their slave owners. Mm -hmm. So, but I mean, all of us are the, the way in which we come to our present beliefs about anything. They're the consequence of our past experiences, the conditions in which we are raised, et cetera, et cetera. Yet you highlight Some black people in particular as not being capable of, of no, actually any being religious. Person, no, any religious person did not meet the religious belief through rational thought. That's correct. Okay. Okay, so there we have it. I disagree with this. I disagree with this as an atheist who escaped a cult. Okay, um, there are tons, there are not the majority, I will grant that it's not that, that not the majority of religious people like uh, pursue some sort of rational structure for why they arrive at religion, but plenty do. I mean, hell, the, the fact that pas the, the like Pascal's wager even exists, which is a rationale, it is a, I believe it's flawed rationale, but it is a rational thing that people say. They have a reason. They go in their mind and they go, well, it makes sense for me to gamble on God than to gamble on not God for this reason. That is rationality. Like, it's not, it's flawed. There's there's factual things that are wrong, and there are, uh, there are fall fallacious thinking involved in that, but it is nonetheless still a rationale for how you come to a set of beliefs. Like, I, 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 I'm not trying to say it's good. There's all kinds, of, people have bad, for example, okay, here's an example. Um, uh, uh, somebody who makes the decision to not go get lunch because they read a horoscope and, and, they, and the horoscope warned them that if they go to lunch, they'll, they'll die of a terrible disease. So they choose not to go to the horoscope. They still made a rational decision it was a flawed decision, but their rationale was, I believe in horoscopes, I read the horoscope, the horoscope warned me, and I, and so I do, I act in this particular way. That is a rational structure. It's just flawed. There are factual and uh, perhaps assumptions that are made along the way that aren't good. An irrational, like, conclusion would be, um, oh, I believe this purely because I was, like, I was born into this. Like, my parents said that. That is a, uh, that is, I think that would be fairly called an irrational conclusion. But like, yeah. Uh, yeah. Did I say they choose to not go to the horoscope? I meant lunch, you know what I mean. Sirius points out, even if your reason is just for fitting into your community, there is still a kind of rationality there. Who wants to be alienated there from their community? Thank you. That's also a thing. I think this is what I talked about in my, yes. Oh, that's such a good point, Sirius. Oh my God. This is literally, um, this is literally uh, what I was talking about uh, in my anti-theism video, where sometimes anti-theists in their desire to, uh, to like sort of, uh, like uh, condescend sometimes fail to understand the reasonings that that people are for for the reasonings that people have for getting stuck into toxic religious structures. Um, yeah, like 
I do think that I I do think that I'm I'm not gonna contest that somebody. Um, well, actually, I don't know. Because if you live in a poor area, if you live in a super poor area and you cling to the church because you will not be able to eat if you uh, if you don't, if your family disowns you because you or shuns you and because you leave the church and you therefore starve, um, and, you, and you're doing the, you're thinking about that in your mind. I do believe that's a rationality and it might have flaws in it, but nonetheless, I think it's important to recognize what's going on there. Like, I think the purely irrational stuff is when nobody, and when somebody doesn't actually think about it at all and they sort of just go purely off of emotion. But you can induce rational thought on these things by questioning people. Like, for example, if you ask somebody, why do you believe the things that you believe? If they respond, just, well, because my parents told me that or because that's, that's the way that it's always been, that's kind of employing a thought terminating cliche to avoid ever, ever, ever going through the steps of rationality. I think it's important to get people to think about it rationally because that prompts them immediately to start actually pro the, the process of thinking these things through. I do think that it's complicated and I don't know that it's like, I don't know, I don't know. I don't know that I would be super harsh if somebody said that like a lot of Christians believe in their religion irrationally, even though, like, even though I, like, I don't know if I would get super mad about that, but I think in this particular situation, it is, uh, in this particular situation, because of the rest of the context, it's problematic to say it the way that it's being said, because that's what's being questioned right now is whether uh, the statement, all you know, all black people are only religious because of this chain of causal events. Does that make sense? Sorry, I w I'm trying to wrap it all back around so we can get back to this conversation. But I hope that makes sense. I also think that I think that perhaps this this conversation would have benefited by focusing on actions taken and not es like essential beliefs. What if their answer was one that was metaphysical in, in nature, like I had an experience and they can't quite explain it fully? That's a really hard one. I've actually engaged with that. I've actually argued with family members who do go back to a metaphysical thing, like I had a vision or whatever. And I think that um, that's pretty hard to deal with because it's observational, right? They're, they have observed something that they believe to be real and tangible. And I think that if you're going to engage in that, you would have to basically ask them to consider whether or not it was good enough evidence. But like a lot of people have non-religious beliefs that are based off of observations as well. All right, let's continue this conversation. Let's continue. We got to get through this. Let's continue. Well, that's not necessarily true. A lot of people are reaching it philosophically. It is necessarily true. That is absolutely not necessarily true. Most mm -hmm. of the philosophy yeah. that actually led to modern atheism was itself religious in origin. It, yeah. it was a gradual I mean, unfolding yeah, of religious I mean, beliefs. Can you like, DM for that example, to me, Sirius? Can you DM that? Oh, okay. Actually, never mind. All right. I'll take a look at this. I'll put this on my watch later. That sounds really interesting. Uh, you're it's, nitpicking the... You're nit I'm not, most mm -hmm. of the philosophy yeah. that actually led to modern atheism was itself religious in origin. It, yeah. it was a gradual I mean, unfolding yeah, of religious I mean, beliefs. Like, for example, uh, you're is, nitpicking the. You're I'm nitpicking, not nitpicking. You're saying a factually again. untrue statement. No, man. I mean, yeah, man. You, can, you can think that it's rational to have the belief in supernatural things, but I fundamentally disagree. Why? So you cannot. The, 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 the condition of being Why? rational. Why? The condition of a thing. <laughs> what? Okay. The condition. Well, most of the rationalists right. were actually Christian. Agnostics, bro. But the condition. Amazing. The, I. Dude, oh man, come on. <laughs> oh no, oh no. Theist agnostic. The condition of being <sighs> rational is not that something appears reasonable <clears throat> to you, Jake. What do you mean? It doesn't have to be re reasonable to me. It's not about me. But you made a statement out of hand. They they simply mm -hmm. cannot arrive there by rational means. Correct. Have you encompassed you cannot, the means by which they arrive there? You cannot rationally come to. Have you encompassed you cannot, the means? Have you encompassed the means by which they arrive there? Of course you can. No, you cannot of rationally you come can. to a supernatural belief. Of course you be, can. 
fundamentally irrational. Of course yeah. you can. The supernatural, even as a category, when we're talking, for example, about Cartesian dualism, was arrived at purely rationally. It was arrived at through a reasoning process. No one process. cares about Cartesian dualism. You haven't read it. Oh, dude. Okay, that is tragic. That is tragic. Employing a thought-terminating cliché in your argument about how nobody can rationally come to religious conclusions is it's oh that's so, it's so bad <laughs> nobody gives a shit about your nerd crap ah oh, man oof Descartes <laughs> it doesn't matter if I've read Descartes well it does you a little do bit because of the liars Descartes no you don't understand this conversation well you don't you, you be, this no, is you true you literally do not have to read a guy who is this dead. is true Jake but he, you, this you is don't true Jake to. no you're but you're missing and now just like like generic anti-intellectualism gay fesh says actual jake is making dogmatic arguments for atheism i ran into this shit all the time back in my r atheism heyday it's really unfortunate when people do that you guys see why i made my video do do some of you see i feel like a prophet you remember my video hold on let me look it up let me just bring it up all right I know it's going to pop up here, right here. Yeah, this one. This one. Hold on, let me just show you. This one that everybody got super mad about, where I said it's it was called Atheism Sucks Right Now, and then the thumbnail was Smug Losers. My video where I talked about how, um, like, there's a lot of atheists on the internet who just do not actually know how to argue for their positions, and they basically behave identical to the people that they're criticizing. Ixtrum says, that atheism video you did did piss me off, but you kind of called it. Thank you. I am an atheist. I oppose, oh my God, I fucking hate the fact that I had to spend my life growing up in a goddamn cult. It was horrible and extremely manipulative. Okay, just a small vulnerable moment here. I went back home recently and visited my, my family, my mom and my sisters. My sisters, ne were, were they have not been in the cult since they were like pre-speech, okay? They went to like daycare in the cult like two times when they were literal babies, okay? Their entire lives have been, have grown, they've grown free of the cult. And it's one of the, the best things I've, like it's one of the best feelings I've ever seen, okay? I do not believe, I do not think that, that Christian cults are good. I do not think that like manipulative evangelical Christianity is a good thing. I would like it if a atheists do better in these arguments, if they propagate good ideas, if they effectively help people get out of this shit. I would have never gotten out if what I encountered was dogmatic atheism. That was not what helped me out of it a at all. How are they? Are they happier now? It's the difference between their lives and mine is like in is like incomparable. They are my little sisters ha have such a leg up in life because they didn't grow up in the cult. They are doing they are they are socially healthier. They are more they are more learned. It's amazing. They're less judgmental they're uh more progressive it's incre it's incredible anyway enough about me and my personal experiences let's get back to this debate or else we're never going to get through this the point you're missing the point the point is not that you had to you appeal to these the things point, as a, as a point, smoke screen for not jake, engaging with the fucking conversation jake the point is not that you had to read descartes to engage with the conversation the point is that you have not explored any of these things belies an ignorance of I the actual actually ways. have i have taken courses in this you should get your money back it belies <laughs> it belies your ignorance of the ways in which people have I specifically apologize have for not spe remembering specifically rationally approached the issue and have arrived at the conclusions broke. But it will be irrational. What do you mean by irrational? It won't. It won't align with reality. It will what be is irrational? Well, that's just. Mm. They, they could say the same thing back to you. 
In order to say something doesn't align with reality, they can't. though, in order to say something doesn't align with reality, though, suggests that you have actually encompassed the ways in which they had conduits to reality through the rational process that they. It's not rational by. to find. It's not rational to observe the natural universe and insert God into spaces. Well, if they do so on the. It is basis, not a rational belief. If they it do is a, so, it's something that you presuppose. If they it's do a so, suppositional well, that's, position. That's not true. If it they is, do. So, Is that universally true? This is another thing that I talked about in my anti-theism video, where um, like ideology fills all kinds of holes in it. Sorry, I was trying to wink there and it just came off looking like I was having a moment. Um, it's a... Uh, it's uh, uh, but 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 ideology fills holes even in the secular mind, right? Like people make all kinds of weird assumptions when there's unknowns. Sometimes we have no choice but to make assumptions because there's so much unknown in the universe. Now that doesn't justify filling every hole with God, but it just means that like there is no person on the planet who doesn't make assumptions about unknown sometimes and therefore behaves by Jake's definition irrationally. Hmm. Yeah, I, I think a lot of people come to that. Yes, actually Vines brings up a really, um, Vines brings up a really good point. I'm an atheist, but I won't deny I've been learning more and more about biology, atoms, and a lot of variety of things, the complexity, organization, and precision by which all things exist, even down to the most basic functions of our bodies, is insane. And I can't deny what I've learned could, in another timeline, perhaps rationalize that there must be a god behind it. There's a lot of, there's a lot of that, like the, um, the, the, the sort of intelligent design people. Um, the intelligent design people are like a uh, is a huge is a, is a fairly large chunk of uh, of you know intellectual religious people and I still think they're wrong and you can make arguments for that um, but like to argue that that, that that's patently ir irrational seems seems uh, to miss the point it seems like a bad tactic if nothing else. Sirius says he's just wrong on this. Rash, rational, rational does not mean necessarily true. Correct. If we found undeniable evidence which exonerated O.J. Simpson tomorrow, it would still have been rational to believe in his guilt up to that point. Yes. Yes. I think you make a really good point there. That's correct. Yes. Uh, I, I don't disagree with you, Fortnite. Gayfesh says, unfortunately, the majority of intelligent design proponents I've seen arguments from, they're actual charlatans and hucksters. I don't disagree with you. I'm just pointing out that there are there are a decent number of scientific professionals in the United States right now, learned people who 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 uh who incorrectly, I would argue, adopt intelligent design, and I don't think that it's I don't think that that saying it's like it's because they didn't have rationality is the problem. They are employing their rationality to come to a bad conclusion. Uh, it's just this is not the the framing is all fucked here. So if it they do is, so, it is well, true. no, because if they do so on the witness, <laughs> if they do so on the observation of of complex. So fellow with the tier one sub, thank you very very much. Thank you very very much. Fafella says this guy seems stuck in a phase that I went through at 13. Yeah, this is kind of a this is there's a lot of cringe going on here. Do you run reflection on philosophical reflection? Then it's very much rational. It's not a rationality not that you respect, but it is rational. Rational does not mean super double plus good and true, Jake. You can arrive at a true it's not a you can arrive thought. you can arrive at a true belief irrationally. That's a thing that you can I do. I suppose that's true. You but are that's, a case in but point. But that's not the claim I'm saying. I'm saying you have not thinking rationally. No, 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 but you, you so are. So it doesn't matter. No, no, but you, you are, I'm, you are a case in point. You, you've clearly not taken any of this material seriously, so you haven't investigated any of this rationally yourself. And yet, nonetheless, material? you've arrived at a position at which what you material? probably basically agree. What material? Yeah. The, the immense canon of Western philosophy upon which we. I've still... read lots of it. Yeah. 
I'm sure you have, which is almost in road says demon mama to bring up an incredibly pathologic brain example you know i always love pathologic brains yulia uh yulia yurisheva is somebody who logic herself into doing really stupid things true that's correct in fact that's kind of a criticism of uh that's kind of a criticism of of the uh the entire faction that she's associated with that they that they ration that they rationalize themselves into horrible positions and sometimes genuinely inhumane positions because rationality alone can't guide you in a world where you can't cross the Izzat gap. Entirely Christian until very recently, and even in many cases still is. That's correct. Yes. Mm-hmm. I'm, we I'm agree sorry. in Christian hegemony. I don't know what... But we aren't talking about Christian hegemony anymore. We're talking mm -hmm. about whether or not Christian hegemony in some way obviates agency. And it clearly doesn't. Yeah, I don't think it does. I think it can it in some circumstances. Their agency. They make irrational... But it doesn't... Cart, so it, in doesn't, your... it, doesn't it doesn't, like, carte blanche remove... Oh, wait, that's not the right word. I might be using the wrong word. It doesn't it doesn't just flatly simply remove all agency. A Christian hegemony can uh damage agency, but it doesn't flatly remove it. So in your without the religious belief. Right. So in your it absolutely so in your, affects your so agency. Your, right. If you so in your, no, no, hold on, no, no. If so you, in your if judgment, you think that you're if so you think judgment. that God spoke to you and told you to cut your to kill your kid with a dagger. What was he gonna What was he gonna say there? <laughs> what? Hold on. So your, it absolutely so your, affects your so agency. Your, right. If you so believe, your, no, no, hold on, no, no. If so you, in your if judgment, you think that you're, if so you think judgment. that God spoke to you and told you to cut your, to kill your kid with a dagger. Cherry, it's definitely been a, it's definitely been an interesting ride. Um, I will say, uh, I, I really think that, that actual Jake has made some serious mistakes in this conversation. I, I don't know what was going on right here, but was it a foreskin joke? I don't know. I don't know what was going on there. Maybe? Right, which is a story in the Bible. There are religious people who don't take that seriously. There are religious people who take that as a, as a metaphorical or a piece of poetry. There are religious people, for example... That um, you can conceive of a more secular religious person is an example in my favor. The notion, of, this, the notion of the secular itself is downstream from Christian divisions between... It's, all, it's not downstream from Christian... Religion. It's only downstream from Well, it literally is, though. ...in the history it's actually of down, humanity. Well, it's actually downstream from Christian religion and from pagan religion, which is where we get a lot of the, the, the Renaissance notions of Republican... There were atheists so so before forth. that. Well, they weren't called atheists because they, well, with some exceptions, they weren't called atheists because they overtly denied the existence of, of gods or of truth or of Well, they wouldn't principles. have enough knowledge. Like, this is so stupid. They wouldn't have enough and knowledge one of the reasons to make why any things of like, these faces. Sorry? They wouldn't have enough knowledge to make a, a as confident a claim as myself, but they would nonetheless be fundamentally secular. But you have less knowledge than they do. You don't even have knowledge of them in most cases. What do you mean? Socrates has less knowledge than I do? Of I, course, I, of the world, absolutely. I think I think Socrates has significantly more knowledge than you do. Actually. You think Socrates knows more, knew more about the world than like? Socrates, Jake. <laughs> I want to I want to fuck Socrates up bitch. I that idiot. He was a loser. He didn't know shit. If I went if I went fucking if I went brain to brain with Socrates, oh my god. Socrates, Aristotle, Plato, morons. Oh my god. <laughs> I can't believe we're watching we're watching the princess bride. <laughs> Oh no! Oh, I so I really wish I could play that. Oh, but I can't without getting slapped. The Princess Bride will slap you in one second. Oh my! Oh my God! Never go in against the Sicilian when death is on the line. <laughs>
Oh man, this is incredible. Oh no. Oh no. I think Socrates paid more Modern attention. Person? I think Socrates paid more so attention Socrates? to what the people. Oh I wasn't God. really finished speaking. I think Socrates paid more attention this to what the some people around. Wanky stuff. I think Socrates paid more attention, and by Socrates I really mean Plato, paid more attention uh -huh. to the people, to what the people around him thought and why than you do. I think in his time and in his context. No. Yes. I ask Christians why they think things all the time, and it's them Christians. who don't understand why. And Socrates. Correct. Yeah, a lot of dumb uh, Christians. No argument for me. Uh, okay. And atheists. A lot of people don't know why they believe the thing. Bro, I'm so, I would have been so much fucking smarter than Socrates. <laughs> if I was Socrates, I just wouldn't have gotten caught. I wouldn't have gotten fucking convicted. I wouldn't have fucking drank the hemlock, bro. Fuck that shit. I would have been, been way fucking... I would have been way fucking smarter. Five head, bro. True, if yeah. I talk about this conversation, this conversation is normal here. Mine are usually better, so I'm sorry for you. I'm sure. So, you agree with me on the things, except... Except the things you're the, wrong about, In the yeah. middle, the middles of the conversation. The wrong part. You... The wrong part so, where you where you imply that the wrong people, part where you imply so that indigenous people. So if you read that, if you read that, if you read that whole you... thread from start to finish, or do you have a fundamental disagreement with the full body of text, or only the little tweet in between where I didn't, Just I didn't the... at this point say Western chattel slavery, even though that's what I was talking about above in the thread. Ah, uh, oh, dude. Ah, oh, come on, dude. Or before that, at any point, with the same people that well, weren't that, you. that doesn't wash. So does that matter at all? Does it no. matter? Does the context of the conversation well, matter at all when it, I'm having it? Unfortunately, that redescription doesn't wash because you were, oh, because okay. you were spinning justifications for why it actually mm -hmm. applies to people outside sure. of the category yeah, earlier yeah. in this conversation. So if you want to have a conversation so, about. Yeah about not like your nitpicks about tweets but about the subject that i'm talking about which is that the that christianity christianity in the agree. modern world christianity in the modern world is not strictly yeah. a white religion it's an amalgamation it's an amalgamation i never made that but not just demographically claim? not just demographically well that's careful uh -huh. you have to be careful because if you say that black americans are religious because they were indoctrinated into it by slave owners they were they no, not all Black Americans were. You need not to be really all, careful. Okay, so but holy but not just shit, not I all. Need to be not really just not all. No, no, hang on, hang on. Without saying no, not no, all, man. Not even not all. We aren't talking about a minority here. If eighty percent, so if eighty, fun. if eighty percent, if eighty percent <laughs> of Black Americans trace their descendant, their their uh, ancestry to slaves, mm -hmm. and twenty percent don't, that only accounts mm -hmm. for those. That only accounts. He's in his angry atheist phase. <laughs> Socrates, <laughs> what a shitload of fuck. What were they fucking thinking? What was he fucking thinking? What a shitload of fuck. They didn't even, he didn't even have a, he didn't even have any airplanes. So the, the I wasn't finished. Is the people I, I was really, talking about Jake, in the thread. But you weren't no, no, though. No, 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 but you I weren't though. I literally was. But you weren't though. I, I was literally was. about to explain why you weren't. Because I, you're you're no. being very sloppy here. Just shut up for a sec, okay? It's just trust me. This isn't your speed. Sloppy. So one of the, it's fucking Twitter. One of the, yeah, I know you have no standards. So one of the problems. I don't have. I, I would I really. Actually, I would I really actually, love. Yeah, I would really love to finish this on. thought. I really I don't. I don't would. need you for I it. Know that you but would I would like to, to do it with you present. Your bullet point that so one you of the, prepared for. I don't. I'm. I'm eating. Actually, I don't have any bullet points. Oh my god. Um, when you're when eighty only eighty percent of them, and I say only, when only eighty percent of them trace their ancestry to slavery, that does not mean that eighty percent of them inherit their Christianity from slavery. This is why it, the example I brought up is really true. critical. So it's that's not just twenty percent. Who would they inherit their? Who? What? What is? What sometimes, is the, what is the, sometimes what is the they Christianity wouldn't. Christianity that you think sometimes. Is well, sometimes they wouldn't. For example, I'm certain there are some black people who have gone abroad and were converted there. I'm sure there's okay, some who have dude. been converted elsewhere. Wow, so I can also conceive of this. Is this true at large about the problem of Christianity and slavery in America? Is this true about that? The problem no. of Christianity and slavery? What are you talking about? So the topic of conversation... Just stop, stop with the act. Look, 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 look. Stop, stop with the screaming act, okay? You look not like, an act. It, the, it's, the topic it's an of act. Conversa it's an act. You look like an it's idiot. Not Just an talk. Act. Just talk like a normal person. You're screaming I, like a child. I am talking to you, but you aren't listening. 
I'm listening very carefully. And no, you're taking you're no, you're dude. Per, you're, you're not persistently you're interjecting not. like you're not you're not. Yes, that's yeah. right. you. You're not yeah. doing these things. <laughs> that's right. Do I have a corn costume? You... Damn. Are you gonna wear it? No, I don't have one. What the fuck? What am I watching? <laughs> do you think? Do you think Socrates? Do you think Socrates would be making faces? <laughs> Actually, you know what? Maybe on this particular thing, nothing has changed, because I feel like Socrates uh, would definitely, would, would definitely, would definitely, uh, would definitely make faces and go, huh, 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 huh. As opponents. Okay, somebody here. We got to do a poll. We got the poll going. Well, you can't argue with the results. This seems more like a Di Diogenes move. True, true. Well, can't argue with democracy. Autism is winning the day. The autists rise. Did anybody vote for Jake? Oh, you guys are mean. Not even one? Well, okay, to be fair, I can't say I disagree. I do think this is a, so far, has been a, a really poor showing. Wow. <laughs> Present Sunday still, still, still l though. Because he lost to autism. Oh, Let's shoot, go. I was going to eat corn tonight. Yeah, oh, man. Damn. So you're, the whole time, it's just like bad faith, man. Like Killjoy 40k says this is what happens when you get when you get rationality pilled so hard you lose your ability to be rational when it counts I think it's actually I think it's like rationality as an aesthetic, right? It's like rationality as a as like an idol or a fetish a Fetishized rationality. It's where um, yeah, you you've it's become a uh, it's become like an aesthetic that you wear to the degree that you you can't remember the arguments that you need to to actually make a rational argument anymore. You've just declared yourself the rational party. Yeah. Like you're not In even bad like, faith. I tried to have a conversation with you as soon as we particularized the conversation. It's crazy that you do feel anything like that could be discussed. You were in good faith from the fucking jump. Can like, I, can I level with you? I really I really What about Can I Yeah. What Okay. I'm listening. So You're gonna say something. The context of the conversation that I talked to you about already. Yeah. I am talking about when we agreed Western chattel slavery uh -huh. and its intersection with colonialism. And it's not an intersection a... with colonialism. That's a function of colonialism. Chattel slavery is literally a colonial institution. It's not. It's not. It doesn't intersect. Right, now that's that's semantic. That is semantic. That's semantic. What we just witnessed here. Now, if Jake was to call that semantic, he would be correct. That's semantic. Sure. And it's at the intersection of the of uh, slavery and its interaction with religion in that population. But where lies the yeah. intersection in the case of where 20... lies the intersection of what? Well, you won't know. Modern day. Well, modern you won't day know if I can't black. finish my sentence, Jake. But you've said it a million times. So no, I 20 percent. of no, I didn't. I didn't say that yet. This is what you're, you're saying a different 20% statistic this time? Well, I am, as a matter of fact. Now let's go. Where is the intersection if we're dealing with 20% of people who don't share that history? Who can't share that history because they don't they don't draw their lineage yeah, to that's that. The same, it's the same one. That's not the but same that, point. That's actually pretty critical. The bare fact that you have, uh, for example, a history targeting a so, specific group in some place does not thereby mm -hmm. mean it bleeds over into the psyche and infects their agency when they go into that place. That's not how that works. You, 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 you citing it's colonialism. Crazy that you think that that's what you I'm citing, saying. No, no, it's you, so fucking wild. No, no, you, that, citing, that, like, you citing, you citing, you citing colonial violence is not a blanket. 
You citing colonial violence is not a blank check for you to override the agency of every single person who has what a non-white agency description. am I overriding? I think this is a fairly. I think this. If if by by the way, if President Sunday was a theist here and was arguing on behalf of Christian on on behalf of Christianity in America, I feel like Jake would like would like almost unequivocally lose this argument at this point. President Sunday is pointing out a flaw and then going from from you know an agnostic talking to an atheist but if it was a theist here they would say they would this is what would happen if it was a theist the theist would say you're citing uh, the existence of colonialism as a justification to to uh, insult the intelligence of black Americans who believe in God for a, a for a, a, a diversity of reasons and where would it go from there? It would be a loss. It would be a win for the Christian. That's a bad, that's really bad. Like, and it would be a bad loss because the Christian would be wrong. Like completely wrong to state that, to, to like just blanket say, oh yeah, there's no, the Christian would be able to hide and erase the actual history of, um, of indoctrination by exploiting this bad argument. Koopa Shell, thank you very much for the gifted tier one sub. Really appreciate that. I really want autism to win. Me too. Good news is autism is winning right now. Hardcore. Hey, Chariot, great to see you. Specifically. Well, from your perspective, apparently none. From your perspective, what agency am I overriding in someone? Every single... Sirius says they would be Sirius says they would be right to say this. He is insulting the intelligence of black Americans. Yeah, I think that's what a lot of people took problem with here. And if if he had been able to if he had been willing to re, to like just revise his statements and say, "Oh, sorry. I typed rich religious when I meant this and I actually meant this." It wouldn't have been so bad. But in the the way it's structured, like this is a severely flawed argument and it is insulting. He literally said, "You you know, black christians have no a no agency uh which i think is a is a foolish and ineffective thing to say modern american christian who's non-white and muslim In, presumably. What, what what that's not a what agency that's that is not an agency that's a type of people what agency am i stripping of people or something what am i what, what claim do you think i'm making here well, the claim you made is black Americans are religious because they were indoctrinated into it by their slave owners. Historically, this is wrong on two grounds. First of all, a lot of them were actually prevented from indo being indoctrinated into it by their slave owners. We're just doing the same thing. He can't thing. save himself. He's trying to say that you're saying black Americans are too stupid to be Christian in modern time. That only white people freely choose to be Christian, but black Americans don't. Is that the argument you think I'm making? That's what he's saying you're saying. Is that the argument you think I'm saying? If you want to walk it back, be my guest. If I want to walk what back? Is that the argument you think I'm making? I don't know. Your, your wife, who whoever is handling this a lot better than you are. What so. argument do you think I'm making? Maybe Does I should that argue sound accurate? Her. Huh? Does that sound accurate? Do you think it that sounds I... pretty accurate? It seems like you're really, really invested. So make so make so so go ahead and tell me in your words. That well, let's thing. go. Let's what, look what at she the. She just said, "Tell me in your well, words." Let's look, at, let's look at the. Let's look at the indigenous one for a second. We're talking about oh my present God, day. Dude. I actually think. Um, I actually, I actually think. Uh, I don't remember Jake's partner's name. Um, I think her name is Phoenix or something, like online. Sarah, Sarah. Okay, Sarah. Um. I think Sarah actually like did a better job of engaging here but I just don't know if it's like I think it came in too late. Sarah Phoenix. Okay, okay. I only I could I only for some reason I only remembered uh Phoenix. Can you just say the fucking claim that you have about me? The claim I have about you? I just asked you. What she just said, the thing you're trying to insinuate, that's I'm saying, what do you think I'm about? trying to say Well, I'm not insinuating, I'm, I'm referring directly to your tweet. That, that, that's my 
what? Don't saying, talk to my tweet. I'm right in front of you. Well, the reason why talk we're having this conversation, me. the reason why we're having this conversation is because of your tweet. Talk to me. Well, why don't you ask me a direct question? Why don't you instead of trying to get me to edit a tweet that I made two weeks ago? Talk to you, me right now in front of you. you. We're socializing. Mm -hmm. Why don't you just redescribe what your position is and we can start from there? Why don't you? I have described my position. Then it should be easy. Okay, but to be fair, the position that the position that Jake described was to double down on saying that um, that Black Americans are only religious at all, flat any religion because of slave owners. Like you, we 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 did that on this video. What was it? Three or four times that he said that, and well, and of course that he's smarter than Socrates, which you know cannot reach religious belief through rational means. Yeah, that's silly. That's You're going to one of them. <laughs> that's crazy. Yeah. Like no. you can't have irrational beliefs and make them rationally. Sorry. You okay. can't have irrational beliefs and have made them rational. Chariot says, have we reached the part in the debate where he says it's impossible to come to spiritual conclusions rationally because irrationality and being out of touch with reality are the same thing? Yes, we, that, that happened and we actually talked about that. It's like a debate bro caricature. Yeah, it is a debate bro caricature. Yeah, we were, we were just on that right before you came in. What? I, I mean, first, first of all, you can. So, for you example, can't. well, no, for example, because you can go the Kantian route, and you can draw the limits beyond which rationality cannot cannot go, and you can show right. how, for certain, for example, irrational claims, like claims about morality, claims about God or justice or teleology, the point at which these fall off, and so you can put them in their proper place, and so you can still have beliefs about them, and you can still arrive at a conception of where they fit in your overall in your overall scheme and overall perception of how things work um, without doing so irrationally and you can even treat them as the irrational and put them in their place as such there's no contradiction there that's that's a that's a almost ubiquitous feature of most modern philosophy yeah I think present Sunday is just a hundred percent correct on this point like this is just a this is just a 100 percent like because, um, I mean, like, that's how, I mean, that's how you, I mean, unless you are like a, unless you are like a, a moral, like a moral realist, I don't even know if that's the right term here. Um, people come, like, like crossing the Izzot gap is, is a, uh, is a, is a, a, a hard line in philosophy. And so there is always a point where you have to go, well, I come to this conclusions because, uh, you know, I value this, or I value this, or I have decided that human life is worth defending, which is why I come to this conclusion. And otherwise, you have to just be like, no, there is a way to mathematically prove that one person is incorrect versus another person. And I just don't think that that's true. I don't think that there is a way to, like, mathematically prove what the correct moral answer is. Maybe it's epist maybe epistemological realism is the correct word. I I don't know. This is a I'm not a I'm not a philosopher. Uh so there's areas on this where my terminology might not be up to snuff. <laughs> I've been emotionally compromised. Moral realists also accept the Izzat gap. They just would say that there are categorical norms for action and that they're, e they're either a uh, natural property or an abstract property. Hmm. Yeah.
Chariot says, I hate to sound like a jerk, but literally any minor amount of introspection would require Jake to fold on this point. Rationality is a process. It proceeds from premises, and one's first principles aren't a matter of rationality. It's easy to be rational and wrong, i.e. out of touch with reality. Yeah, that's, that's sort of what I'm talking about. Like, you can follow a path of rationality to a wrong conclusion if the facts that you're building your rational structure off of are incorrect. Let's continue. I'm out of touch. You're out of mind, right? Da -da 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 You're out of time. Oops. Time. Got the wrong word. I always forget I always forget the exact lyrics, but I fucking love that song. And it's crazy that I forget the lyrics because I listen to it very regularly. Anyway, let's continue. Um, the second claim is that uh, black slaves were taught Christianity. Of course they were taught Christianity. The Christianity is and not so native to the place where they were enslaved. And so, yeah, okay. So, and the effect of that is that generationally you will have a high population of black Christians that met that not through critical thinking, not through anything else, but due to the direct effect of their ancestors being enslaved by Christians that indoctrinated them. Well, they didn't arrive at that? that. Oh, yes, absolutely, Page Punk Corpse. We were just listening to Maneater in the car. Me and Doe were listening to Maneater in the car the other day. Banger. They didn't arrive at their beliefs prior Dude. to that either, rationally, but they still held them. They were still really that, yes? What do you mean, really that? Why do you keep doing that? What is, the what religious, the religious there? beliefs they had. You asking me if I think that they were genuinely the religious they believed it or something? Well, you, you, the claim you make once again is that they are religious, not just that they are Christian. Do you? Are you? Was that a misstatement? Do you not believe they were religious before they were enslaved? Dude, so religious in this context means Christian. When I say that they were indoctrinated into Christianity. Well, like, then you're running still into. We a don't have to talk about like, oh, maybe running, they were TikTok witches. Like, but you're what the running. Fuck? Well, you're this running. This is what you do, man. You're running. I already still, said that they were Christian. Man, Chris, you're running I said still. That they were Christian and Christians are Christians are religious, are they not? Oh, he. Why? Why double down? Just say. Well, let me, do I have to say religious Christians every well, time I say, accept, "Hey, man, are you religious?" Let me. Accept, when I talk to a person. Let me accept. Do I have to? Let me accept. I mean, if you ask somebody, hey, are you religious? And they go, yes. And you go, stupid fucking Christian. And then they're like, bro, I'm a Hinduist. You would look like an idiot. You would look like an idiot. That rewrite of the quote. Even then, you're running into trouble. Because once again, when you're talking about black churches, you're talking about places that are not simply inheritors of European style Christianity. You're also talking about places that are Isn't inherit that European style that also inherit I don't what? that also I wasn't finished speaking that also inherit it's the traditional beliefs of the enslaved peoples. So it's not yep. actually the case. And those infect Oh my backwards. god, I can't believe they they that some of their culture bled into uh, apparently the apparently the stream hiccuped. We lost some viewers and people are saying the stream's struggling. Just refresh if you're having any issues. It's not, sh I'm not showing any data loss on my end, so I'm guessing there might have been a YouTube hiccup. Apologize for those who have the issue. But that's so, ob like, obviously. Not yep, just, not just bled in. Not, not just bled yep. in. We're actually directly combined. And these in turn influence other churches as well, not just the black What ones. does that have to do with anything? It means that when you're saying they're religious, simply because of... Gayfesh says, one of my biggest criticisms of new atheism was... Uh, the, the the attitude, you shouldn't be religious, and the religious that you shouldn't be is evangelical Christianity, and if you aren't that, you should be. Yeah, it's it's the, um, oh man, I've run into this so much with anti-theists, where anti-theists get challenged by someone who's not a, a an American evangelical, and then they, they fail to actually be able to argue because that person just goes, I don't believe that. And they go, yes, you do, and they go, no, I don't. And they don't know how to grapple with it because they've only ever thought about, uh, they've only ever processed memes about evangelical Christianity and don't actually know how to advance from that point. It's so annoying. Slavery, that's that's simply not true. They're not even, not only just Christian because of I slavery. I said that they were Christian. They, they Christianity and became... And then a, I used the word religious Christianity to for the many religious Christians. Well, and no. you're like, oh, well, he actually means they could have any religious belief well, no, no. at all. Well, no. Well, for I'll just say Christian from now on well, because for example, so fucking... Like, well, this for... is not a... This is so fucking... Un Uh-oh. Wait, Jake? Hold on. 
actual Jake just posted his version of the debate, and the title is President Sunday. President Sunday thinks, hold on, let me get it back up again here. President Sunday thinks slaves wouldn't have wanted freedom without colonial religion. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, that's a title. <laughs> Wait, is this a is this a video response or is it the debate? Hold on, I have to see this because we might have to react to this if it's a, if it's like a if it's a video response. Oh no, it's just the debate. Ooh, boy. Oh, man. Spicy. Was there commentary after this? I might have to check that out. That might be interesting. <laughs> That's mean, Gabesh. I mean, listen, sometimes people put, uh, some, you know, everybody does a little bit of clickbait. I feel like that's like, that's like reaching the level of, of just explicitly lying. Stream is dead? What? Huh? No, it's fine on my end. Oh man, oh it's it's YouTube is killing us. Weird. Okay, on my end, I have no I have no packet loss. I have no frame drops. I've got nothing. It's it's on this is on YouTube's end. My connection is just fine. I'm I'm monitoring my connection right now. It's a you it's a YouTube side. YouTube oh YouTube is having server ingest issues. Oh damn. Oh man, we just lost a lot of people. Shit. Alright, let's let's continue. We'll do our best. Kinda sucks. For example. Instead of nitpicking that, Jake, you don't, you're you don't boring have to give me now. another you for don't have example, to give me another example. Well, I you're, was not gonna, you're not hearing the words I'm saying to you. I'm hearing all the words you're saying. You're just not saying very much. So, for example... <laughs> no, no, for example, the logic, the logic that I you're deploying... To repeat. The logic True that you're Metroplex. deploying would be, for example, uh -huh. to, say that yeah. Jap to say that modern Japanese technology in some sense is invalid because it wasn't arrived at in a Japanese way despite the fact that it was no. approached... I'm not finished. That's not what I'm it saying. It was approached. You're you don't wrong. know. You don't this know. This is my claim. You don't know if it's your claim or not because I haven't finished my sentence. I literally do know it's my claim because you it's literally not correct. Don't. You literally don't. I am not. So, I am not. Oh, I am not. Oh my God! Perfect timing. Oh, it's good. It looks. That smells so good. Cheddar cheese biscuits and mushroom soup from Dough. You want to say hi? No. There's Doe's hand, you can see because of the identifiable tattoo. <laughs> what is true? Oh man. I hope it's good. Oh, this looks. Oh, there's oyster mushrooms? Uh -huh. Oh my god. I made the broth from some other mushrooms. Oh my god! That's so good! Holy shit! Yeah, will you refill that? Yeah, go ahead. I love you. Mwah, I love you. Wow, this is great. All right, let's this this will provide this will make sure that I don't commentate as much and we can listen to the debate while I eat. The Wait, analogy eat I'm water. trying to make over You're not your listening to me. over your babyish what? I the analogy. am not making a claim of like their genuine belief levels. I am not saying that they are more or less purely Christian. Wait, can we play that slip of the tongue back? Oh yeah. You literally don't. You literally don't. I am not. So, I'm it was approached. You don't wrong. know. You don't this know. This is my claim. You don't know if it's your claim or not because I haven't finished my sentence. I literally do know it's my claim because you it's literally not correct. Don't. You literally don't. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Oh, I know that's just an act.
accident, but that's a really funny, that's a really funny slip of the tongue. <laughs> God. Oh no. Oh man, I'm having a good time with this damn debate. This is a mess. Good. It is a mess. It's a messy debate. Yeah. I love you. Thank you. I this is you so well. good. I'm really glad. Thank you. I am not so, I am not I am not The analogy I'm trying quality. to make over You're not your listening to me. over your babyish what? <laughs> I am not making a claim of like their genuine belief levels. I am not saying that they are more or less purely Christian. I've never said that. Any form of religious belief, even whether it's Christian but or if you a believe religious... some amalgam of Christianity, no matter the but degree if... of it, it's incorrect. But if a religious belief is appropriated as a technology of resistance, then it absolutely is theirs. And they absolutely a technology did. of resistance because Christians had uh, anti-slave movements? They did. Is but that what not, you're saying? No, right. I actually wasn't saying that. Okay, because, so what are you saying? Because slaves uh -huh. actually derived a resistance ethic from it. This is one of the reasons, once again, why white slaves. slavers did not you think, allow so, so them... So the claim you're making here is oh, that black people... Have... This, is what he, this is what the title is referencing. But that's just historically true. Christianity was a source, uh, was one of many, not the only, but was one of many, um, like, uh, um, sources of, of uh, coalescing that, that slaves were able to sort of build communities around in order to resist slavery. Like, it's just historically true. But I see what he, I see where he got that title. I think it's dishonest, but I see where he got the title. Does Jake just Jake just blech, does Jake just not know about the Christian abolitionist? That's crazy ignorant. I think he's being willfully ignorant here. I think he knows that Christian abolitionism was a fairly huge movement in the United States. In fact, the vast majority of abolitionists at the time were Christians, de almost definitionally because of the 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 un universality of Christianity. But I think he's being willfully willfully ignorant here. Could only come to their liberation through Christianity. No, I'm saying that oh, if okay, they used it, I'm saying if they used. If I said that, I'm saying if they used it to that. They end. needed religion to want their own liberation. I'm saying, saying they needed the white religion no, to need to want their that. liberation. I never so said that. So interesting, but it is what you said though. I never. Well, that's not said what he that. said. Okay, he so do ever. you think that they would have liberated themselves without Christianity? I have no idea. Fascinating, because I fucking know. do. I 100 percent know. We don't know. The, the... You don't know if black people didn't want to be slaves or not before they were religious. They don't have to or, want I'm to be. Sorry, we're talking before they about... were Christian. No, no, you're very stupid. So, oh uh, man, this is so pathetic. I'm not gonna lie. This has gotten to a level of patheticness. He's he just refuses to actually engage with the point. It's super obvious what point President Sunday was making. As an outside observer, I'm easily able to tell what point President Sunday is making here. I think literally everyone who's watching, there's 600 people watching right now. Can you guys understand what point President Sunday was making? And when President Sunday unequivocally said, no, I did not say that, that that's the only reason. Yeah, I think literally everybody can understand it. This is just, this is willful. A willful bad faith at this point. The point is that if they used Christianity as a tool in history to get out of slavery, we mm -hmm. don't know. Well, no, because you're entertaining a counterfactual. We flat out don't know. Okay, but we here we don't go. Know. You're, this is a bad... You could do this if you want, but it's really stupid. You're, you're the one who's relying on a counterfactual to establish your claim. Amazing. It's not very strong. Sure, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you're saying that... that I don't think you understand what I'm which saying. We I don't agree. think you're following this very carefully at all. You're saying that Christianity, I think you're, I think you're the kind use of, of Christianity was a tool of liberation I think you're, for the... I think you're intensely out of your depth, and now you're screaming in order to make up for it because you can't follow, you can't track the argument. I would love you to make a claim, but when I'm, when I'm When you're done you speaking, here, do, I, do you want me to let you finish speaking, Jake? You can, yeah. Are you good? 
So the claim you made is that you this don't know so if good. black people would have sought their own liberation without Christianity. No, we know for a fact they did. We don't know if in the absence of Christianity okay, but because here's that the motivated fucking a whole lot of that different... you fall into here, which is so fucking like a... He just he just Jake tried to get the gotcha and President Sunday just directly answered and cl clearly proved that the gotcha doesn't make any sense. Jake says so you don't you don't know if they would have wanted freedom without Christianity? And President Sunday says, "No, I know they would have wanted freedom without Christianity, but it's hard to say that without you, without the structure, uh, without utilizing the stru the structure of Christianity forming their churches, if they would have been able to succeed." Which I think is uh, uh, a a very fair um, uh, question, given that given that the United States at the time was nearly a hundred percent Christian and building churches that were black centric churches that could provide power to the to the uh to black people without getting you know directly and immediately persecuted by the government um these i mean the the underground railroad often utilized churches in exactly this way like the most famous uh uh, uh organization would would take cover in churches they would operate out of churches it's just he's being bad. This is the it's funny because he's been yelling about being bad faith, but this is so bad faith. Stupid. Fall into a pitfall. I know you don't feel like it. So Christianity is the mechanism is one of the main social mechanisms through which they experience their colonialism. The people that it caused slavery upon this population were Christian and were following their manifest destiny in pursuit of these things. Much of this is informed by their Christian belief. You are saying here to give credit to the guy who stopped slapping his wife. This is the same what? thing. What? What? I know. No, you didn't follow what I was saying at all. No, no, you're, you're... I, I actually don't, I did not, I did not follow that at all. I want to listen again to be fair. That you different. fall into here, which is so I fucking feel like stupid. I, fall into a I know you don't feel like it. So Christianity is the mechanism, is one of the main social mechanisms through which they experience their colonialism. The people that it caused slavery upon this population were Christian and were following their manifest destiny in pursuit of these things. Much of this is informed by their Christian belief. You are saying here to give credit to the guy who stopped slapping his wife. This is the same thing. What? Oh, okay. I think I see what Jake is trying to say here. What Jake is trying to say here is that President Sunday is, he thinks, Jake thinks that President Sunday is trying to say that Christianity was an unequivocally good thing because uh, it was used by people to survive slavery. But that's not what President Sunday said. And so that's why Jake is coming to the conclusion of saying um, the, the giving credit to the wife beater for stop beating his wife. I just think that's a really, I just think that's a, a very, first of all, it's not honest about what President Sunday has said unequivocally multiple times at this point. It's just willfully misinterpreting uh, what President Sunday said. But also... Um, it's un misunderstanding the historical example that President Sunday is pulling from. Um, uh, uh, other religions were ultimately stomped out and not allowed, um, but but some slave owners allowed uh, uh, allowed religious practice, and of course there were some very genuine believers. Uh, among slaves who then organized into their own churches through which they organized portions of their liberation. And that's not giving credit to Christianity. That's just pointing out that uh, that Christianity isn't a single source, that there is a that Christianity is a complex entity in the world and that Christianity can be used in different ways. It's not I, 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 I think that, I think that Jake is basically like 100%. I mean, this makes sense given the original argument, but he's equating Christianity 100% with slave owning.
He's saying that there is no form of Christianity that doesn't uh, ultimately promote slave owning, even though, of course, liberation theology and all other types, many, many types of Christianity do exist, regardless of whether you want to argue that there are still flaws in Christianity even there. I know. No, you didn't follow what I was saying at all. No, no, you're, you're, no, no you're, you're very dim. No, the point I'm making mm -hmm. is that the point I'm making is that if a black person or a black culture or a black group appropriates mm -hmm. a thing that's in their environment, as in the case yes. of Christian religion, then it's, and it's uses that towards to resistance, call, it's theirs. It's crazy to call black slaves be, uh, adopting Christianity appropriation. That's not a. That's not adopt. No, that's a positive that's form of appropriation. That's crazy to me. That's a positive form that's of appropriation. Crazy. That's good for them. Well, Dude, what do you mean? If oh they adopt. God. He's latching onto the word appropriation and not even engaging in the argument. Oh my God. That's, oh, that's so, that, it's, oh, come on, dude. Oh, Jesus Christ. Good for them. Wait, well, if they adopt... what was good for black slaves there? No, it is a good thing if they appropriate something that this gives them desperate. an organizing tool desperate. to resist I disagree slavery. that it was good for them to appropriate so you you think that when so you so I do you, not think that you so need when you're so in your judgment to achieve liberation, well, <laughs> but they were religious. They didn't become atheistic. There was no point in between them being of Due the religion of their ancestors. Ubiquity. This is like, of the this religion. Is a product of the time. Yeah, there is I mean, no dis, there was no gap between them being of the religion of their ancestors. <laughs> of course not. And of the religion yeah. they took on when I they know, came yes. to North America and elsewhere. That's yes. Yes. So, uh -huh. though they were not religious due to the ubiquity of Christianity, that's incorrect. It's crazy that you don't think that it, it's crazy African that African slaves it's had crazy that you had, can't wanted go their for, own freedom until they were. It's Christian. crazy that we can't have a back and forth for even a few seconds without you breaking into a screaming fit. It's, it's, oh, dude, the smuggling. You're, you're, I was, the I was actually, you're I was told. You're giving Christianity the credit for I, black liberation, and it's why. No, not at all. I'm giving black people the credit for black liberation. Some of them were Christians. Some of them used, used Christianity towards that end. This is true, like, unfortunately. There's a wonderful book called The uh, Half Has Never Been Told. I highly recommend it. It's got a really great chapter. You're a fire in a cane break by Laura Wexler. Yeah. Try that one, too. There you go. Sweet. I'll look it up. We, got, we, all, we both got books. I got uh, and I got a duck. <laughs> Duck Nana beats Corn Cob. Just how it goes. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. um, so. It doesn't sound like you have an understanding of what my position is. Oh, anymore, dude, God. come on. <laughs> Not ever. You say so, Chief. I absolutely say so. Like, you literally are coming in here and just making crazy claims, and my whole chat is like, what the fuck is this guy saying? I've literally never said some well, of this shit. I've got a smarter life. chat, so you know. I'm sure you do, man. Oh, I really. Uh, do. It's just, it, it's just like. Can we talk about how you tried to say that Drake was telling someone to kill themselves? No, yeah, no, you know, you, you weren't telling. Whoa! What? I'm sorry. What? Can we play that back real quick? I'm sure you do, man. Oh, I really do. Uh, it's just, it, it's just like. Can we talk about how you tried to say that Jake was telling someone to kill themselves? Can we talk about how Jake, how you said Jake was trying to tell someone to kill themselves? What the fuck? I don't know about this drama at all. I have no idea what this drama, what this drama is. No, no, you're not. You, you weren't telling back? someone. You weren't telling someone to kill themselves. What you did was you taunted, uh, you taunted Rico, very nice guy by the way. Um, who's Rico's disagreeing a different with you, person. Who is disagreeing from a, from with you? From the person. No, 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 I'm talking so, about Rico. So wait, wait, the, I'm talking the, about Rico. The, I'm talking about. So Rico. you want to talk about Rico's divorce? No, I'm talking about you taunting him for his divorce. Apparently he divorced. I didn't taunt him for his divorce. Yeah, you did. You spontaneously. I made a nothing. common meme. So you now you're mad about Rico. Nothing. Is this what it is? Is you mad about that? I now? am. I am a little mad about Rico actually. <laughs> okay. So apropos, you're, you're, apropos of. Hold on a second. I think <laughs> I think we need to bring up 
Uh, hold on a second. Here we go. Hold on. How do I do this? Here we go. Because divorce? No, I'm talking about you taunting him for his divorce. Apparently he divorced. I didn't taunt him for his divorce. Yeah, you did. You spontaneously. I made a nothing. common meme. So you now you're mad about Rico? Nothing. Is this what it is? Is you you're apropos, just mad about that? I am. Now? I am a little mad about Rico, actually. <laughs> okay. So apropos, you're, you're, apropos, apropos of nothing. Apropos, apropos of, nothing, of nothing. He was arguing with you respectfully. So Rico and, and is and you... trans medicalist pretty often. Okay. He is, is he? trans medicalist takes pretty often. Oh, what a dick. And he is. And he has. And he has had bad takes in my mentions many times. So the context well, that I have. With so have you. That's why we're here. Sure, man. The context that I have with this guy is that he ha he's shitty every day, and now he's divorced, and he has a blue check mark. A divorced guy with a blue check mark is a common meme. The circumstances of his divorce are irrelevant to me. If he well, they are a little bit relevant. I think I think it's mocking, not relevant. To I me. think mocking some. I think mocking someone's divorce due to a miscarriage is. Rico isn't even a trans man. I don't know anything. I I've talked to Rico before, like very slightly, and. Um, my understanding of Rico is that, um, he's kind of like, um, he's kind of like an enlightened centrist on a lot of things. I know that he has pretty, uh, pretty good takes, um, on, uh, certain issues around like radical liberation. Um, but I don't know what his takes on gender are. And also I know that he has some, this, and again, this might seem somewhat after what I just said, uh, this might seem somewhat contradictory, but he has some questionable takes about police and the military. I think because he has a military history, so that's why I kind of said an enlightened centrist. But he, I've never, I've never had any, I've never seen him do, at least in my personal experience, I've never seen him do transmedicalism. Maybe he has. It's pretty universal. Do you think I was mocking his his divorce due to a miscarriage? I don't know. I don't know if you have the brain so capacity to hold those two thoughts mocking, simultaneously in your head anymore. His divorce and blue check mark. I didn't say anything about miscarriage. In fact, he doesn't have a miscarriage. Hmm. His ex-wife did, and I feel very bad if she wanted to have a child with him, uh, and and they wanted to have a kid, and it, it didn't happen. That sound that sucks. But that has nothing to do with what I said. This is what's going to be known as the Hunter Wager. We'll be back at this in a few years, I'm sure. What's that mean? Don't worry about it. Well, why um, not? Just Why don't you just say, just, with, just say with your chest what you mean, man? Mm, nah, I'm good. Can we I feel like that was a optical mistake. Like, Jake, Jake, uh, Jake was saying that's not what I meant, but I feel like th doing the, like, the, uh, uh, doing the sort of uproarious laughter and smugness when you're trying to clarify that you weren't trying to, like, hurt somebody and then also saying well um um it's really funny earlier he was making fun of present sunday and and now he's like um well technically um um technically it was somebody um it was not it was his wife who had the miscarriage not him um um as if that's not like a like as if it's not hurtful to the father when a miscarriage happens like a big like again a, a really really big optical miscalculation here it's really funny that the whole conversation, he's been making fun of President Sunday for being um technically, and then he literally um technicallys. Oh man. Can we mock can we mock other people's divorces? If they're abusive to their partners, I would say so. So I Wait, wait, wait. So in the cases where they're not abusive, you can't. I would not I would not mock someone's divorce. I don't I generally don't mock genuinely bad things happening like loving relationships breaking. Wait, down. wait, wait. I How want is the world a divorce to be a better of place. genuine Moose Watcher says, Can I just say I'm loving your outfit today? The dress really compliments your hair. Thank you so much. I've gotten so many so many really nice statements today about about my dress and my hair, and that means the world to me. Thank you so much, everybody. Only bad thing. If they're unhappy, divorce as a result, is never bad. Divorce is almost divorce always. is often very bad. If it's the consequence of trauma, no. 
If it's if it's uh, if it's between is, divorce is good. no 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 if there's a, if there's a yeah. strong relationship between people and that off. breaks down due to trauma. I that's think not that's what the thing. majority of divorces are. Just fuck off. That's twenty fuck twenty percent of divorces. I didn't say. How the fuck I didn't do I know? The majority of divorces are literally. I'm well not known. against the concept of divorce. Irreconcilable Jay. differences and often with their not against, on this. Yeah. Oftentimes the men do not. Yeah, see, this is why your views are different. Do dense. not adopt you can't, enough. Yeah, you can't. You just can't. You can't keep up. You can't compete. I'm not against the concept of divorce. I don't think any intelligent person would read what I said. The majority way. of divorces, however, are happy things because they are met with two people that are incongruous with one another. And I don't know if we necessarily know that. For example, the we way do in This is a really fucking weird hill to die on. I feel like... I feel like in this conversation, Jake has, like... Like deliberately ruined his own arguments for no reason like president sunday will just go is that what you meant and he goes yeah that's what i meant as if it's like no you can't restate or rephrase anything you have to double down on whatever the first word that you possibly said is like like if somebody said are divorces good i would go like uh, if it was me, I would say, you mean like the ability for people to get divorces? Uh, and then, and then from there I would say, well, I like, I think it's a sad thing most of the time. Most people aren't happy to get divorced. Most people, uh, use divorce as a tool to escape something that is causing them greater harm. But a divorce in the first place is not always a good thing. But like, I think Jake jumped on the idea that President Sunday um was saying that like no i don't think that like somebody getting divorced after a traumatic event is necessarily a good thing it's good that they can get divorced but it's not like a good thing in and of itself yeah sirius says it would be like saying if somebody said we put our dog down today it was really upsetting and jake goes um actually that was a good thing because your dog would have suffered more if it had been alive it's completely missing the point yeah but i and i now i feel like he's sitting here like laughing being like ha, ha, you don't think divorces are awesome and it's like no wait you misinterpreted but now you're dying on a hill for no reason uh Let's go. Who necessarily know? Well, no, that. We because actually, even we actually even in cases, the, well, no, cases. because even even in cases where that is true, there are a lot of cases <laughs> uh -huh. where that is true. You are correct. It's good. Well, no, because in a relationship the, that you don't the way. Be in. Well, no, because the <laughs> way in which the way in which because the way in which one hundred percent of the time because the way in which it proceeds legally often causes profound levels of stress on one or both partners, stress often resulting in extreme is financial irrelevant stress as well. to a divorce being good for you. That's a very stupid thing to say. Oh, a, a yes. divorce might be stressful, but it's better not to be in a, a relationship. Stress kills people, don't want to be Drake. In. Jake, stress destroys families, destroys relationships, destroys you, people. Destroys so, do you careers. think people seeking divorce are more or less stressed being with their partner or being divorced when they? That's going to be on a case by case divorce. basis. I have no. You're idea. so stupid. It's intuitively true. Obviously, if they are. If I'm so divorce, stupid, why are you what? the one relying on what's intuitively true? That's not intelligent. What do you mean? What do you it's mean? B -b 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 Bazinga! <laughs> Relying on what's intuitively true. That's not intelligent. What do you mean? What do you it's mean? Not... It's so. Have you listened? Holy! That was a. Is President Sunday like a, an actual parrot? That was a perfect replication. It was like a tonally perfect replication. True. That's not intelligent. What do you mean? What do you it's mean? Not... <laughs> It's, it was a literal perfect echo, like a perfect echo. You're the one relying on what's intuitively true. That's not intelligent. What do you mean? What do you it's mean? Not... <laughs> Danny Fallen, no joke. If you get that for me, I will put that on the soundboard. No joke, we need some new stuff for the soundboard. If you get that for me, it will go to the soundboard. Us <laughs> Holy shit. And it doesn't matter which one you grab because they're the same. <laughs> the 
the one relying on what's intuitively true. That's not intelligent. What do you mean? What do you it's mean? Not... It's... <laughs> oh my fucking god! Oh, Have you listened to yourself? You're like Vosh oh, in a yeah, helium man. balloon. <laughs> oh my god, no! No, fuck! He's already dead! He's he's already dead! Stop! No! Oh my fucking god! This is the biggest shit show ever, and none of this means anything. They're not even arguing about the original topic anymore. This is literally, it's just turned into complete blood sports. <laughs> oh my fucking Bosh god. Uh, I mean, it's pretty obvious the report. With an uglier so beard. Amazing. Uh, so, are you just mad now? No. Or is this, are you good? I'm feeling good. Right. Oh, dude, come on. Saying, like, he's mad when it's so obvious who's mad in this situation. Like, come on. Like, being 100% real, no rational person could come away from this conversation saying that Sunday is the one who, who comes off as mad. I think you would have to be, like... You would have to be so bad at understanding, like, uh, like body language to conclude that President Sunday, who's just sort of, like, tiredly and monotonely sitting in his chair, is the angry one. Oh, oh, man. Oh, can I get a timestamp at where you're at? Hold on, I can get you the, I can get you the exact spot. Hold on. Relying on what's intuitively true. That's not intelligent. What do you mean? It's literally exactly at 52. 5200 on President Sunday's video is where that timestamp is. 5200. Rhodes says, you see, I miss when you did blood sports. You were better than this even in, even in the day, even back in that day. Yeah, true. Fucking true. Also, Key and the Astronomer says, I've had 10% of a script comparing the de demotion of Pluto to gender ideology for a while. Do you think it'd be worth making a video essay if I don't intend on being a YouTuber? Hell yeah. Uh, making a video essay is always worth it. Also, thank you for supporting the show. That sounds like a, an interesting video, actually. It sounds a little bit like the creature, yippee. <laughs> You're kind of right. Once it, autism wins yet again, autism strikes again. What do you it's mean? Not, it's so. Have you listened scary. to yourself? You're like Vosh in a yeah, helium man. balloon. Vosh in a helium balloon. Uh, I but mean, dumber. it's pretty obvious. The report with an uglier so beard. Amazing. Uh, so, are you just mad now? No. Or is this, are you good? I'm feeling. Right. I'm feeling swell actually. Okay. Well, I'm not gonna body shame you. Good. You can. Don't start you, that. Oh, come on. Pretending like body you you called you called President Sunday autistic like three or three times in the conversation. You don't get to you don't get to woke scold at the end after you call people autistic as an insult. Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, I, I put I would I would put calling people autistic as an insult slightly higher than body shaming. Not not a not a contest you want what? to start. What do you mean? I'm objectively better looking. Oh. <laughs> this is like fucking But it would hurt my true. it would hurt my feelings and you'd lose woke points. I don't care. I don't care. I'm objectively better looking. Uh so it doesn't matter. Uh right. if you want to have a real conversation at some point and not a semantic argument over Well, tweets, I did. When you have I'm, me right in front of your fucking face? I like, I wanted to try, have a real conversation. I guess. I was but against, holy fucking shit. Against my better I'm judgment. So fucking against unimpressed. my better against my better judgment, the same dumb idiot who told me to go yeah. really easy on Haas and have a reasonable conversation with him told me to do so with you, and he's just disappointed as much as I am, I'm sure. Uh huh. Damn shame. I mean you didn't even address what I was saying. So it's cool. You just wanted to address what you like pretended I was saying? No, like you, again, it's just you, wild, man. What you said, it was like, and, and then when, and then stupid. when we talk about you taking me directly out of context, arrogant. you pivot to something else. You're relying on. Uh, do you want a to ex do you want to accept of the material? But what about? Do you want to acknowledge just taking me out of context blatantly or no? And to go to context. Do you want to acknowledge it yourself? 
I offered to let you redescribe it in real time right now. Just to tell me your it. statement. So, so the so the guy that you said that I was telling to kill himself. Would you like to retract that at all? Just because I, can't, I want who, to. Who did I? Who did I say you were telling to That's kill? That's so himself? fascinating. No, I can't remember. So there was uh, a, there was a, a guy who was like, oh my god, I, I, if I, I I would be so embarrassed, I would kill myself. And I said that wouldn't be a good thing. You shouldn't. Oh my god, we got it. Hold on, everybody. All right, let's finish this damn debate. Let's do it. I want to do that, and then you tried to paint it as like, oh my God, what he's trying to say. Oh no, I see. Please self harm. I see. Okay. Are you? Are you? No, no, you're confused. No, no, it's come. It's no, no, it's come back to me. You're very stupid, so you didn't really catch the nuance there. So the person was saying, if I had to wear a corn cob in order to stand out, that they would kill themselves. And I said that's not. And what you, what you said, what you said, which is leveraging essentially an implication about their mental health. If you're one embarrassment away from killing yourself, or something, I imagine if I was one embarrassment away from offing myself or something like that that's a that's no, a man. level I grosser said, i think no man yeah it really isn't i said it's not good if you want to kill yourself i'm not gonna lie this last bit has been completely and utterly embarrassing this has devolved it went from a like fraud debate to blood sports and now it's literally just t you said this on twitter what do you mean? What do you it's mean? If you are embarrassed. Like, you're actually a fucking and bad you faith, bro. Uh -huh. <laughs> you're actually a fucking like, shithead, man. Sure thing. Yeah. Yeah. Even Vivian told you yeah, you're man. Wrong. Just eat cocks. I, just fuck off. Like, can you, can you, this is what I'm saying, man. You can't even. Re, you should, you should do, just make your voice squeaky again. That's, that's a. Make your voice squeaky. It's a good comeback, nice. yeah. Cool, man. What do you mean? What do you uh, mean? All right. Is that, is that it? Is that what you're fucking, you had to schedule this with me? Jesus fucking. Well, God. I had other stuff on the way, so. Oh my god. Yeah. All right. Uh, have a good one, man. Bye. <laughs> See ya. You ran. <laughs> oh! Oh my god! Oh my god! That fucking added at the end! Oh, okay. <laughs> Okay, look, listen, there was a lot of cringe and fedora tipping on this debate, and President Sunday wasn't completely absolved from fedora tipping at points, okay? Let's be completely honest. But that right there at the end is how you own a meme, okay? People called, ma people made fun of him for being President Runday, but that right there is how you Giga Chad reclaim a meme. Bye. See, <laughs> see it. You ran. <laughs> oh, when the song comes in. Oh, damn. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, that ending. Damn, that almost made it all, that made it all worth it, didn't it? All right. Okay, let's talk about this. We gotta talk, we gotta have a post-discussion. All right, we gotta talk about it. Uh, okay, first of all, I don't think, uh, uh, I don't think Jake's like a bad person or anything like that. Nobody should come to the conclusion that Jake's like a bad person. I will say that I do think this was a pretty poor showing from Jake. I think this debate was not very good. Um, and, uh, in fact, I think it was bad. Um, like I said, it, it got shit flinging at a lot of points, but, um, but Jake definitely came off as very angry and definitely very, uh, uh, very, you know, he was not gruntled, you know, he was not gruntled. All right. Um, perhaps you could say he was disgruntled. Um, and, uh, also some of his arguments I feel were like, like extremely bad 
um, in addition to just being kind of pointless, like making the argument that there's no indigenous Christians um, and then people go, what do you mean by that? And then you say, well, you know, technically nobody is indigenously Christian unless you were born in the Christian area of France um, is kind of like it's it's turbo annoying. Um, and uh, I, I don't know, like uh, there's just like it was just a kind of an embarrassing uh, argument to be making. I feel like this could have gone a completely different direction. Um, actual Jake could have engaged in a conversation about um, uh, about like about the actual subject, like about like how indoctrination works in Christianity and the limits of indoctrination. But I think that he was way more interested in basically trying to hold frame uh, against a perceived threat. They felt like uh, like it felt very defensive, like very, very, very defensive. Um, and as a result, I think he ended up completely defeating his own points. Um, if this had been against a theist, this would have been a true disaster. It wasn't a true disaster because President Sunday obviously isn't arguing in favor of Christianity. President Sunday is saying you made a historical mistake that makes that makes your argument against Christianity worse. And also, I think it's an uncharitable position towards Christianity. But if this had been against a theist, this would have been a disaster. Yeah, um, yeah, I don't know. I, I can't help but feel like that went very poorly uh, because because Jake chose to be um, way overly aggressive and very, very smug on certain points. Um, also, there were there are a couple of moments in this that genuinely came off um, as I think it was Gayfesh mentioned, it came off as like dogmatic athe atheism, where it's like um, not, not actually uh, going through the, the argument at hand, not actually engaging with the topic at hand, just sort of being like, <laughs> but Christians are dumb, tip tip. And uh, yeah. Oh, oh yeah, Dame Vamp. Dame Vamp says if this had actually been if this had been an argument against a black Christian, it would have been a legendary flame out. Um, can you imagine how much how much more cringe this would have been if this exact debate had happened? Um, but it had been an a, 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 a black Christian debating against uh actual Jake here. Um like it would have been it would have been like one of those moments like i feel like it could have gone viral and the only reason it didn't is because it was president sunday instead um yeah uh i don't know uh the agency conversation didn't go anywhere because it wasn't being taken seriously as we demonstrated here in our incredibly uh, uh enlightened and large-brained community as we demonstrated here there's a de there's definitely a conversation to be had around agency, um, and and there's many ways to interpret that argument. There's arguments that you can. Uh, there's a whole lot to talk about with regard to religion and agency, with regard to indoctrination. But it was not possible because in this conversation, um, Jake let let his defensiveness get in the way of the actual the actual uh, 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 topics at hand. Ren Moliner with the tier one sub says, been watching for a while, felt like a sub was warranted. Thanks for being a voice of reason and kindness in a blood sportsy arena. I'm not always super kind, but I try to be as kind as possible. Thank you very much. I really, really appreciate the support. I do try, I do try. I don't always succeed, but. Um, the other thing too, is that there would like the doubling down on saying religious instead of Christian, like, was a, a massive mat like unequivocal completely like oh you are just you are just verifiably wrong in any no matter how you slice it um saying that black people in america are uh are only religious because of slavery is is actually just it's so incorrect it's so many layers of incorrect that it's it's shocking that he would double like quadruple down on it um, and I would be, I would be embarrassed, uh, if, if I doubled, if I myself doubled down as hard as, as, uh, as hard as he did.
um I, I I just feel like and also it was so unnecessary he could have just said oh no I meant Christianity and he kind of tried to at the end he backpedaled weirdly at the end and tried to act as though he meant Christianity but earlier on President Sunday directly asked him did you mean religion and he said yeah yeah yes yeah over and over again which is just like why why would you do that um, yeah, I don't know. That was another point. Yeah, Killjoy brings up throwing out tw the 20% of black Americans because it would damage his argument was so cringe. It's 9.44 million people, an entire state's worth of people. Yeah, that was also a really, and I, you know, I, I yeah, that was a big, that was another big mistake. It was just, uh, the no point to do it. He could have, and it's funny because it was on Twitter, he could have just been like, yeah, uh, I, I was responding on Twitter and I, what I really meant was this. Yeah, it's pretty, it's pretty intense, serious. I don't know why. Anyway, President Sunday did a pretty good job. I, I have to say, uh, despite the fact that it did become a fedora off at multiple points, um, President Sunday, for most of the conversation, did a pretty good job of trying to engage with the subject at hand. Um, he definitely got mean at points, but it wasn't like it was completely unjustified. Uh, President Sunday did actually really try to engage in the topic at multiple points, and I gotta have him, I gotta hand him points for that. Um, I don't think that that Jake was correct in saying that President Sunday was bad faith in this engagement. I think that President Sunday came in in good faith, and perhaps later on, you know, his charitability wore out. But to be fair, actual Jake was calling him autistic like within the first five minutes of the debate. <laughs> That's a deep cut, Jessica Metal. I don't know. Maybe, maybe. I mean, I hope that neither President Sunday nor Jake will get mad at what I said here. I roasted President Sunday a bit, uh, and I definitely, I definitely disagreed with and also did roast Jake a little bit. I hope neither of them will take it super personally. Again, I don't think anybody was a bad person as a result of this debate. And of course, you should always remember, imps only raid with love. Um, but like, yeah. Some of Jake's audience is already trying to take cracks at Demon Mama in the comments. Wait, in, in the comments of his video or of my video? Wait, is there, are there angry, is there an angry Jake fan here? Oh, of Jake's video. Really? Oh, okay, I might have to go look at this. I might have to go look at this. I, I, I know this is, this is, this is getting, you know, I'm being a little, I'm being a little petty here, but... I don't feel like I was so mean. I don't feel like I was that mean. I, I goofed around a bit, but. Oh. Oh, wait, Sarah's like really fighting with people in the comments. Oh man. Okay, well it's not too, too bad. <sighs> oh, sometimes I just want to see, sometimes it's funny to me. Sometimes I, I find, uh, sometimes I find the way people, we, the way people think on YouTube are funny. You two should team up to take on Dave. Oh, I don't, I don't think so. I, I, uh, with Dave, don't interact with the zoo animal. Um, I watch Dave at a distance. I would not engage directly with Dave. That's not a good idea. I can see where you're coming from, Sirius. I don't know. 
I thought you were fairly charitable, Demon Mama. Well, thank you. I appreciate that. Um, I, I tried to be. I tried to be. I mean, I do think there was moments that were just, I, I'm sorry. I can't, I can't, I won't be dishonest. I'm not going to lie to, to, I'm not going to lie to actual Jake. I think there were moments of this that were really, uh, just a really bad showing. Oh. Well, I I do hope that I I do hope nobody will take it super personally. I wasn't trying to be super mean. I really wasn't. Oh my god. Well, all right, I think that's all I have to say about this particular subject. Vontex says, these kinds of debates between people who don't pull a Brianna Wu, people who are progressive without skipping the actually liking trans people bit can't get along. It makes me tired and sad. Um. Wait, I don't, I don't fully understand, but thank you very, very much for supporting me. I do appreciate that. Yeah, I was trying not to be mean. There were parts where I was like, you know, and I guess it is a little bit mean what to do mean? this. What do you it's mean? Not... You know, that that's a little mean to put that on my soundboard, but it is an extremely funny sound cut. It's it's a super funny sound drop. I still think, you know, I, I'm not to be not to be rude or to anybody involved, but I got to say um I got to say my video on this topic, I think, is way better than the debate. Check, watch the Demon Mama video. What can I say? And I had a fun time reviewing it. So I hope you all did, too. Who's Dave? Watch Cooking Mama and you'll know. Watch Cooking Mama and you'll know. You'll find out someday. Dave is a fellow. Dave is a fella. All right, everybody. All right, everybody. Thank you so much for watching uh, my video. Make sure you subscribe down below and press like if you had a fun time with this debate review. And keep on listening to Demon Mama. Keep on listening for that signal.